ladies and gentlemen. I can't wait for this shit then. Boys and girls. Ooh. Titties. Victoria, stop fucking with me. Yeah, drop this motherfucker. Singing Tori by far is my favorite Tori. What? Yeah, singing Tori. Oh, nah, singing Tori, bro. Hey, big ass titties, titties, motherfucking big ass titties. You are now tuned into two and a half niggas. <laughs> Verge ain't earned all the stripe shit. It's only Verge's second show. Can't make him feel too comfortable. You like rapping Tori over singing Tori? Yeah, he got bars. That's why. No, no, no. Without a doubt, he got bars. Oh, I yeah, just think absolutely. singing Tori yeah. is just like he, that nigga. Yeah, I don't know. Singing, yeah, singing Tori singing is Tory like, is that. And he can't really I'm, sing. So yeah, it's just like. That's that's but you know what it reminds me of? I'm a nigga that like from my era and people like you too young to remember Omarion. Like you don't remember what Omarion was. That nigga was hard. Nah, you don't. You don't understand. Like I was at high school when Omarion was like oh, touch. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> that was it. Touch. Like like icebox where mm-hmm. my heart. That's like you don't even remember. Like you, like, you don't even understand. You see, like, but you see how he really like. That's how powerful that was. Like any nigga was really trying to pull. Like bro, oh, niggas was no really like ability, just, and niggas really, really was, was like, letting their chest jump. To like, be like, touch. But he can sing, though, so he don't No, he can't. Count. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I mean, you, come on, you Whoa. That's how I know you ain't never listened to Mario, bro. Yeah, That's how I know you I, really I, ain't I never never listened to him like that, like that. Bro. That's how I know you ain't. Like, I came from the era of our Omarion oh, albums. Like, oh, and all that shit. Like, niggas listen. Oh. Yeah, I didn't know that song. That's a weird era. Because, like, as much as, like, you know, Ray J never took like, That's how much. That's like, how, Ray J. That's why we say Ray J is a legend. Song. Ray J never song. took an L. Like, one Wish was his best song ever. Oh, nah, bro. Come nah, on now. Nah. Ray J always did this weird thing where he would like disappear like, for like three years and then come back. Yeah, no, he was just like sexy. Had, what was, can um, I, sexy uh, can Yeah, I was about to say yeah, sexy can I. Like, he never had a whole good album. Um, I I don't know. I wouldn't. Some niggas is not I album niggas. I, I don't know I if you, I don't even, I don't even know if Ray J. Oh no, that's not true. Um, what's the one with One Wish? That was a good ass album. The whole album, the whole album, album that remember. had Radiation not, or whatever yeah. that one was. Okay, yeah, that was actually a good ass album. I ain't gonna hold you up. That one, that one was a good album. He can he sing then? No. No, I when I say okay, so who, who can, can sing? Who can sing? Chris because Brown. this is my thing. This is my thing. Ray J grew up with Brandy. If you niggas really listen to Brandy, Brandy can sing, nigga. Yeah. I'm talking church house, sang, nigga. So for me, when you when you when I'm talking about Ray J, I'm that's still Brandy brother, and it's still kind of like <laughs> nigga. Brandy can sing, nigga. But he had little vocals on him. I yeah. think he but just was good by at comparison of like nah, he was, he was good at standing in his pocket. He never got yeah. hired. Like he stayed with the R and B rap songs, and then he would do the one yeah. wish, but his vocal would never go too high. It would just be like, you know, he never tried to like. I oh, think Ray was oh, good at like oh, capitalizing oh, oh, on like everything. Yeah. Like I'm in acting, I'm doing this. Like he yeah. made popular so, as fuck. Too. Yeah, like, Ray Ray took yeah. advantage of his time when Ray was hot. Like Ray was everywhere. When Ray get hot, you see him everywhere. I but if he Ray ain't Ray hot, he just chill day. out on all scenes. But yeah. like when Moesha came out and he had did like the song with Joe Budden, the uh, we be up in the club. That's another thing where he was like he was doing like a lot of features and shit too yeah, that I think boosted that. his shit. See, it, this is before, that's what I'm saying. This shit came out when I was like 13. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Ray was like, this is when Moesha and shit, and he was Dorian or was he Dorian? Whatever. Yeah, he was Dorian, and sure. he did the Moesha thing, and he had just this was like his first rounds. This was like with a uh, wait a minute and shit with him and Lil Kim. Oh, that's a fucking another one. Yeah, he had like that's that's yeah, where nah, he, bro. Yeah, he had. You he don't had know. Hits, that's yeah. what I'm saying. You're not old yeah. enough yet. You're not old enough. Like that's the song with Lil Kim. Like, I mean, wait a minute. Like, in that time frame, was that 2005, 2008? No, that's that's way early now. That's probably like no 2005. I'm in high school. I graduated high school 2007. Nah, this might still be 90. Oh, maybe it's early week. 2000. Nigga, I like think it's, 10, I say, yeah, I think 10, it might be early 2000. Yeah, like 99, that 2000. Makes you feel like, like, like middle school. Like, like, so like when Jaru was popping. Nah, Ja was popping. Nineteen ninety nine, two thousand. That was in. Yeah, nineteen ninety nine, two thousand. I, I, mean, I yeah, know, like I know. It's, 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 it's in the music, same. Just, ja was same. Age. Yeah, Jaru, two thousand. Yeah, two thousand. Yeah. 2000, and then ja Rule. 50 Cent came yeah. That. yeah. So, oh, so so yeah. Ray 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 and Jaru run was kind of like. <laughs> it was kind of simultaneous. He did. Yeah, that's like a good, like a nigga name is just synonymous with my downfall. Like, yeah, you can't say Jaru without going. Hey, by the way, that nigga shit was just. I like and I like Jaru more than Fifty Cent. Yeah, I, I think. I don't like it. See, voice. when you really, I, I hate to be the nigga that that always do that, but like, Ja didn't get beat by fifty. Ja he got didn't. beat by the feds. Yeah, I know like, the story. Yeah, he, he was under investigation, so it's kind of like you can't have a fight. That's like, he that's like the that police put hand handcuffs on you and then a nigga decide to run down on you. Ass. Yeah, beat your ass. <laughs> and niggas be sitting there like, oh, that nigga bust his nose and broke his jaw. That nigga didn't even swing back. 
You be like, you know my hands was behind my back in handcuffs, uh, right? Yeah, but you act thick. Niggas be like, shit, that nigga fucked you up, bro. You should have swung back. Like, ja Rule was my favorite rapper, and I was only like five. Yeah, nah. Six, like six. Yeah, so if you, yeah, like, no, yeah, because like, I'm that, like. That's not even like a thing. Like, I'm four at, years at older than moment, you. nigga, Ja was the boom. man. Yeah. yeah. No, Ja was like. Yeah. Fit. You niggas don't, don't understand. Like, Murder, Inc., Murder Inc.'s run is so fucking underrated. Yeah. Oh, Murder yeah. Inc. Mm-hmm. run. It was you niggas don't even remember, like, because Murder Inc. was taking niggas and making niggas stars for no. Do you know them niggas took, like, Charlie Baltimore. The yep, niggas found yep. Charlie Baltimore and made big old bitch a star. She was just known for fucking big. <laughs> and niggas was like, y'all niggas don't even remember Charlie Baltimore. You ain't even old enough to remember Charlie Baltimore and fucks only, Biggie, only, huh? Nah. See, you ain't nah. even old enough to remember that shit. You fuck Biggie, Biggie, Small? Yeah, Biggie, Biggie, give me one more. Ch- Charlie Baltimore used to fuck him. <laughs> you think she just showed up with Murder Inc., huh? Hell yeah. See? That, you, you was like, who the light-skinned bitch with the red hair? Big, yeah, knock nah. that down. No, that was, honestly, that was such a, like... That was such a fire area in hip hop. I saw this post like a couple days ago, and it like had like back. That's back when like King Magazine mattered and oh, shit. Oh man, hip hop was BT the uncut. Shit. You niggas don't even know. You oh, don't even remember God, BT uncut. Bro, that that was like, I never, I never really nigga, me man. and Trovon and Isaac, nigga, oh, me and Trovon yeah. mostly. Nigga, at grandma's house, we would spend the night, bro, and you had to stay up to like three a.m. to catch BT <laughs> uncut. But that's where all the videos were all like day. they would show ass and titties Dang. and basically it, it was strip bro. club. Imagine being in a strip club and just niggas recording videos in strip clubs and all the local dope dealers that just was throwing money in the strip club yeah. and, and they videos would come on BET Uncut at like 3 a.m. Oh, yeah, and then certain that. artists like when 50 Cent, like do you remember Nelly Tip Drill video? Bro, Tip no. Drill changed niggas' lives. You, like. He doesn't even remember the Nelly I Tip Drill video. I, Are you fucking with me? I, I really oh know. my you God, nigga. That, I, you don't even know why what? niggas love Nelly. <laughs> I do nah, I don't. No. Nah. See, he you, that's, that's his problem. No. Crazy. These young no. niggas, see, like, TJ, these I'm young no. niggas think we just love. Do you want to come and take no. a ride with me to Allen and Bass? First of all, first of all, I was listening. I was listening to fucking uh, that's great. Nah. Nelly, no, nah, Nelly need to. Besides Tidra, I was I was listening to fucking uh, the eighty five South Show, and Chico Bean was like, niggas really underestimated Nelly. Like niggas that nigga said, we going Nelly, down. They go boom. That nigga had a shot. Y'all niggas ain't listening to. Country grammar, huh? Nah. That's a oh, drive by. We going down, down, baby. Yo, street in a Range Rover street sweeper, babe. I, I ready to let it go. She ready to let it go. Is it to me now? Light it up and take a puff. Pass Chico it Bean me. is a That's a drive by. I know oh, niggas knew that way that. before that Chico Bean. Amazing. Fuck Chico Bean on that one. No, yeah, I'm not giving niggas I, that. I just like that you never knew that. that. No, it's not that I didn't know it. I just it just never. Nobody talks five. about that. Like nobody ever. Talk. I thought because it was just a known fact that that, that song is a, a li- drive by. No. no, the nigga was on stage, and I think one of the other niggas said it was like he didn't I thought know about as it. an adult you would listen to it, my nigga, and know hey, like. Hey, I, hey, he done now. I ain't going back to that nigga. Nelly Bro. was. A, that's what niggas not understanding. Nelly was a real one though. No, before he was a rapper, he was a real one. Yeah, I can see it, but it's yeah, nigga. I'm talking about like. The song oh with, I'm going down, down, baby, still, yo, because y'all always listen to the the, the, the radio, radio version, one, nigga. but on the on, on the the album one, I'm going down, down, baby, yo, street in a range, drove a street sweeper, baby, cocks ready to let it go. I'm still not, I'm still not over like this tip drill shit, my nigga. That shit is like y'all. Yeah, you never seen tip drill video, bro. When I say tip drill, tip drill single handedly just came out. No, tip drill was nigga, jack-off material. Nigga, tip drill adjusted my high school for like three weeks. Niggas was like, bitch, don't talk to me. What even are you? Are you five? Nigga slid the credit I card see through her booty. ass women. Nigga, like. When he slid the credit card through her booty, the, niggas, nah, niggas bro, had spent their whole life dying this to do me, that. This is what I knew. Like, first, well, You ever been to a strip club and seen a nigga slide a credit card through a booty? Hell no. Have you never done that? I couldn't wait to oh, do that, that shit. That's because he ain't never seen bro, tip drill. I took, I on, I took my gremlin ID cent? to do that shit. You ever seen 50 Cent Disco Inferno video? You gotta go sit in the car. <laughs> God damn. Hey, hey, y'all, hey, y'all That's what I knew. Nick oh, Cannon was a real nigga. Oh my nigga. god. Oh, Ludacris pussy popping video. I might have seen that one. What is your? Ch- what are y'all doing? Mm, mm, mm. Sing it. Sing Fuck. it. Mm. It's just that's just the an- pussy popping. Pussy, pussy pop. That's I heard the-, the song, but never seen the video. Oh, oh man, bro. them three videos you gotta get yourself these are together, his, man. These are historic. You I'm might not even be able to find those on YouTube. Those might like you might have to really go on Pornhub. No, you no. What I'm saying, you might really have to go on Pornhub to find those. You know what's yeah. another one? Like I had like Disco Inferno for sure. You gotta go on Pornhub to find. Fifty Cent Disco Inferno video. You got Pornhub for sure. Niggas was niggas was true perps because we went from the from the fucking credit card slide to the chick would just I really tried to find that one with that giant ass, that butterfly I, dog. I legitimately hey, you know tried to bu- figure you know who, out who you know the fuck who got that you know who got that? Who? Yeah. Brilliant. Br- bruh. Uh, what are you, what are your... To this day. <laughs> 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 to this day. <laughs> <laughs> 
I can't. To this no, day, I man. I don't know. Like, <coughs> my time, like, the music ain't the same. It's not. It's kind of a little different. The video's not the same. Y'all just... Oh, right time man. for y'all. I don't even know where the fuck I'm going with after that. That just is such a hurtful. Yeah, that's crazy. yeah man, that's what it. I'm saying. Y'all don't, y'all don't even be understanding the history. So that's why they don't respect no nobody. I had no cable at the time. It ain't even. We had the. You got the internet. You was the. You you the, you are. You grew up. You don't even know life before the internet. Shit, I had to buy my own phone at like 14. So we ain't like. Y'all niggas don't. Y'all niggas, you sleeping, bro? You I sleeping. remember having to watch like previews on actual sites. Y'all niggas bro, grew up with two sites. To ju- and shit. Y'all, used, y'all grew niggas. up with sites like Pornhub and shit. You used that to have to go find to. multiple you used to go websites to bang bros <laughs> and then you jack had, off two previews. Yeah, and you had Women to really to line up. You had to line up your previews to get a good like ten minutes out of it. It's crazy, nigga. <laughs> women was one that like for all the women that are trying to figure out why niggas who were like teenagers between the years of like nineteen ninety nine and two thousand and seven, why they nutted so quick. When they was fucking, it's because yeah. they was jacking off to porno I previews. You, so I you would have to try to get your nut in that two-minute preview. Right. So you would be jacking off all fast, and then you, you would train yeah. your body to be able to nut quick because you, you only could get previews of, of porn. You couldn't get whole Pim. porno scenes. 2007? Now nah, I mean, by 2007, niggas was getting to the point, like, I remember you used to have to download a whole, like, you remember, like, Bruh. Napster and LimeWire? You used to have to I download killed porn. I like, shit on LimeWire. What? Bro. Could nobody? Could yeah. nobody? You could download whole what? porno scenes. How you think porno bootlegs just like oh, porno I've DVDs? Seen do it. I, that's how they used to get made. Oh, then you download a whole thing and burn a DVD shit, nigga, of the porno albums. What? Shit, Let me tell you something. Shows. Booty talking, onion, Boy, onion booty. Man, got <laughs> booty talking, onion booty. <laughs> Got <laughs> niggas through middle school and high school. Yeah, I want to thank like, every woman who's shit? ever done an onion, t- uh, onion booty or a booty talk movie. What was that shit that brown, brown and round? Oh, bitch, brown and round, nasty girl. Yeah, yeah, I want yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yep. and brown, brown and, and round. Stuff. Like that's uh, fuck all y'all. Yeah, I want to thank all y'all. Niggas women don't know quality. I understand y'all sons and shit. Y'all sons and daughters. Y'all gotta explain that to them, and you no, trying you to figure don't out. Show how, Nah, the internet is too open. Like my nigga, you eventually. You're my, I don't know, the man. first. Let me tell you something. I went. To, I worked. I had a job, nigga. I was working at Everest College, right? I was working in the admissions office for Everest. A porno star enrolled in Everest, just like a well-known porno star, like a well-known. Good for her. Walked in. Enrolled, and no, enrolled. Like she, she walked in and enrolled, and you know, all the niggas in there sitting there, like, you know, all niggas is like, nigga, that's you know who that is, right? <laughs> you know who that is, yeah. right? Somebody hit though, right? I don't know. I didn't get. In, I didn't try. Like she was a sweetheart, though. She wasn't oh. like when you when we think of porno stars, we think they just walk around everywhere in like high heels and like yeah, just yeah. and like just Low it's porno music. Like they high. just trying to suck that's, everybody's dick. Like, that's a Ooh, job. I get it's a I'll, job. I'll do whatever I got to do for a. You work at UPS. You ain't just <laughs> lifting boxes. Like that's like, bitches is not just like ooh like she ooh, walked up like bro I'm boy. legit just trying to register like yeah this bitch was like I'm trying to get into away. building and coding and shit nigga like put I'm your dick away nobody trying to fuck y'all I'm trying to take these classes and get home to my son but she was like she was just a sweetheart but it's just like porn stars and like that bitch just really walked the fuck in. She was acting normal and regular. She she was normal and regular. Like, did did you niggas not hear Mia Khalifa say that she only made like twelve thousand dollars? You know who Mia Khalifa is? Yeah. That bitch said she only made twelve thousand dollars doing porn. Twelve thousand dollars. She like that as well. I feel like niggas gotta hang out. um, Boom. Y'all niggas niggas gotta hang out more at the strip club. Like I know it's not the same, but I know like going to strip clubs. Like there was a good time where niggas was just fucking up the strip club. Like that was like more where I would be like, I really know this, bro. I got no sentiment. Like I might not know. Like you just kind of get to see them outside yeah. of their yeah. profession. Like when niggas who go like, oh shit, she do porn. She gotta want to fuck right now. No, nah, nigga, maybe Amber because yeah, that's her real name. Like she just chilling yeah, today. Nigga, that shit was just. So that's why I say like I understand that they be having real lives and they got grandchildren and shit that they have to explain to. Like when when you go, but that was my whole point is that like when you go outside when that scene is over and that bitch gotta go to the grocery store. I still know niggas still know who you are, and then niggas heads for some niggas they still feel like they catch you on the they catch you on the aisle. You 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 getting vegetables? You trying to get some vegetables? He just got an eggplant in his hand. He like, yeah, you ain't trying. To, <laughs> yeah, what are we gonna do today? He's just trying to put it up what to you your lips finna, and shit. Like, God, damn. bitch, be like, what the fuck are you doing? She's like, like, I seen you, you do buy, it in the you fucking finna movie. Buy all those cucumbers? <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> like, like you finna you go buy. make a salad? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
You eat a lot of hot dogs. Nah, see, you can't be doing all that, that with. Niggas are sick, but <laughs> that's what I'm saying, like though, bro. That, like though. niggas feel like that. Like niggas don't turn it off and understand. Like it's just a job. So like I understand the women got grandkids and shit, yeah. and they be trying. They be, at, they be at parent teacher conference and shit, and niggas be up in there like. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> hey, hold on. You tell me, you want to make twelve thousand dollars? She did. That's what she. But what, in one year or like the whole time she was in the porn game. So I don't know. She said she did porn business. for like three summers. But see, a lot of them chicks don't make no money off the movies, bro, because it's really just like an appearance. It's like an appearance fee. Because you don't own nothing for the movie. Like, you don't own no rights to it because you're not paying for the cameraman and the film and all that. you just really showing up and being like, I got pussy. Whoever want to fuck it, give me $1,500. Yep. All right, see, that's a bad. That's, a, that's not even a good movie, then. Some of them really be on some shit. Like, they fuck it for $300 and just all the weed and perks and Zans and whatever else you got at the set. It really, Crackhead. bro. It's the same shit that bitch, young bitches that you hang oh, out with now, now would do. Oh, yeah, of course, these bitches got part time jobs, yeah, and yeah, yeah. they buy enough stuff to look nice and I get their hair one. done to be able to go pull up on <laughs> niggas and be like, match one. Yeah, and once they get you to match one, <laughs> it's a wrap. Dick. They sucking dick. <laughs> they gonna suck the shit out your dick. But that's that's the old, man. Let me. It's the old scheme. You match one, get you some hair. Nah, or something. nah. Nowadays, the females really don't be having their own weed like that. Oh yeah, because. Niggas, the, is ready. niggas is ready. Niggas is ready. Yeah, I got, I got, a, I got an ace. I'm gonna come right now. What niggas? <laughs> niggas be on the Snapchat with it. Big backwoods. Yeah, yeah. Young bitches be like smoke. smoke. Yeah, smoke. Yeah, I'm gonna come right now. I'm already down the street to be right honest. Right now. Yep. She be getting ready quick. Funny. You be like what? <laughs> you be like what? That's too goddamn funny. Is this is this the world Ti was trying to save his daughter from? Oh shit! Not him. Not the, <laughs> he's an idiot for even talking about that out loud. That's what he messed up at. He should never said nothing. I think. I didn't hear the whole thing, so I'm not sure. I, I, I didn't hear. I just uh, read it. Was he? Was he like Miss? It's hey, not hey, something hey. I would do. Hey, his daughter bad yeah. too. Let I, me just. Shit. That's not. That's not where I was. This is this getting awkward. No, what? Awkward. Is, are you saying is she bad? But it's it's awkward that her daddy go with her to get that done. Like that. Does that make it worse for you? That make it hard for you? Is what you saying? Like what? Uh, uh, if I oh she meant me, I wouldn't care nothing about this nigga. So it. if that was your girl, you just like yeah, I'm knocking this. Sorry, bro. I would like to think. I would like to think he just presented like how he said it wrong. Cause niggas, the, every even I posted a meme that I thought was niggas that like like Ti was like in the fucking doctor's office. We hand doc. I got this. Like no, I don't no, know. No, 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 no. They gave him that paperwork. I was just showing him paperwork. Like he ain't going go there. Yeah, I don't think he went. Like look. I don't think he going there while her she, her feet are in the stirrups. Or whatever yeah, like that's how people were presenting. Yeah, it. I, I just, think like, I think that's what people took it. I hope that's not what he was saying. I don't know what the fuck Ti said. What I'm gonna say is I don't agree with it. Um, I, I think. If my daughter wanted me to go for moral support, I would be willing to go. But I wouldn't even know what the fuck is going on. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't know what the fuck is happening. Like I mean, I know what. It. A, like she have never said it out loud. He just yeah, like I would be. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if she's asking him. I don't know how it was working. No, no, I'm not no, going no. to make sure my daughter's a virgin. He checking, yeah, you be like, no, that's what I'm saying. I'm not going to make sure my daughter's a virgin. If my daughter just want moral support and she's like, Daddy, I, I don't like doing this. Can you just go with me? Mommy goes oh, yeah, or whatever the reason is. But I'm not going. I'm not taking a sick day. <laughs> to make sure my daughter <laughs> is not getting no dick. Yeah, I'm not. Nah. Not happening. He's wild. He, he look, you know. He's not going to be he's able scared, to do though. it. He's scared. He don't want no grandkids, probably. His baby but girl. I don't know. Shit like that. Like, I don't know. I'm assuming, like, in the in the, fr- in the way they're framing this, like, <laughs> T.I. is this, like, overbearing come on, father. Come on. Those be the niggas whose daughters get fucked first. Yeah, like, if you just said this overbearing parent, like, you can't have no dick. Like, instead of just teaching her how to, like, you know, use your pussy, give her good pussy, you know, management skills. Like, <laughs> but see, this is my thing, though, bro. Like, like it's, yeah, it's like, still doctor-patient just... confidentiality. Well, so, in too. all reality, your daughter could just be like, yeah, tell my daddy ain't nothing happening. Okay. That's true. That can't happen. Just... Tell my daddy. Ain't yeah, there were like, yeah, there were details about this that confused me, but like, I just everybody. Like, I don't even know how this makes that sense. That's what I'm saying. I never paid no attention to the interview. It was really something that I was like, there I don't care for it. So, about it? he was on a it, he was on a podcast, and that's why, like, uh, like I want to make these jokes, but I also don't want to like vilify like Ti because I haven't listened to it, but I don't think people did due diligence at least to see what he fucking said because it's a clip from a show, and it was like we go to the gynecologist together, and boom, that's it. And I was hey, like, man, look, yeah. look, look, <laughs> I, I, uh. I'm going to say this. I'm a nigga that's willing to, um, I'm an honest person. And I've seen T.I. run down on Floyd Mayweather behind his family. Right. And I've seen T.I. make it a, a point to always let niggas know that any disrespect behind, anything that he takes as disrespect behind his family, he will run down on niggas for. And, um, you know, anything I say about a nigga, I'm going to have to say to his face. Yeah. 
in all honesty, I don't know enough about this situation to even make a comment. I heard it. I was like, that's weird, and I don't care to get in, in depth about it. <laughs> Seeing the headline was just like, to me, that's, that's just weird. That's so I'm weird. not even going to invest my time in that. But you know what really irritated me? Because that's not what irritated me. He could do that. That's his daughter. He could do whatever he want. If the people outside is like trying to kill him for it. Like the other females, oh, like, oh, yeah, yeah, like, that's like, that's all people do. Some you shit, bro. Are, I, I, you are, so. uh, oh, nigga, you are a budding Understand podcast. Understand something, bro. They're gonna kill your yeah. shit. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. you're gonna get fucked sure. up on a lot. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Like, <laughs> me and this nigga on the verge of assassination on a weekly basis. Like, I, I'm cool with it, though. And I still gotta go to work. Yeah, I've done everything. I've gotten it from people, man, from You just gotta start out, you gotta start out hitting, you gotta hit every group early and then just work up. Just come out the gate and just start at cancel. And sold everybody. Yeah, bro, if you start at cancel, start at cancel and work your way up. Yeah. Are you serious? Fuck yeah. Start at oh, me. Fuck. This is we even had like we've had our worst statements like long early. I think yeah. First show was a Holocaust joke. I mean, oh, hey, oh, it was oh, a terrible. Oh, oh I'm so, oh, we're talking. Hey. We're talking here. I'm talking about in our totality. It's been some terrible. I've said some horrible shit. Okay. Oh, this ain't first show. Hey, hey, long as you, hey, you take it, run with it. You know, just make me a little. No, nah, you just gotta take the, you just gotta take, take the good with the bad. Better. Like you just yeah. gotta understand that. Like That's you might be out somewhere like eating a salad, and somebody might try to throw some, throw some on your ass, and you. You right. gotta take the good with the bad with that shit, I'm bro. I'm sue your ass too, just for that. Mm. I'm sue you for about three dollars. That's your, that's your lawyer right there with you. It's <laughs> like you know what I'm saying. Shit just be different. Yeah. But nah, I just think that I just thought that shit was weird, my nigga. And I just I don't. Some shit you just don't want to invest your time in. That's just not some weird shit that I don't even care for a nigga to explain himself. But that's just really like, hey I don't man, think he is. I feel like he's gonna do what Where regular want, good niggas man. do. It's like this shit got to know it another day and a half. Nah, you know what? I think niggas is. Uh, I think T.I. is currently just on niggas' meter for, like, fuck with. Like, I think T.I. has taken so many just stances and speaks so out so uh, so much and so often. I mean, yeah, I'm not saying for good or for bad. I just think T.I. is very vocal and very outspoken, and he stands yeah. in his position. So I think that makes T.I. open to it. And I think T.I. is transitioning to where he's taking a position in the media now as a, as a media personality with Expeditiously Podcast. And I feel like he opens up his life with the um, Family Hustle show. So I think that right there makes him vulnerable to a lot of different media input, media opinion, media attacks. Yeah. And his own opinions on shit, just like, nigga, I'm, fuck you, fuck this. My social, yeah. social media is very, I don't so, know what the fuck would you say. I don't I hate that I don't, word radical, but yeah, that shit. Yeah, so I don't, I don't have nothing, I don't have nothing for that, my nigga. Like I really don't. Like, <laughs> really thinking, like nah, nah, like it's really not something I yeah. give a fuck about. Like nah. I mean, like if his daughter is that old and and just won't be like, yo, I'm cool. Yeah. It don't do it that. Is. It is what it or is. just like not tell this nigga the appointment days or just whatever the fuck it is. Then I don't know like what the fuck else to do. That's just it. To me, was just. When I seen it, I just looked at it. I was like, oh, you know, it is what it is. It's his daughter. I, yeah. I don't know. I think it's just too much of an emphasis on that shit. Like, um, I didn't expect it to blow. Like as a young nigga, did you I care did. about pussy that much? Like, what you mean? Like, with age? What like, I'm saying, about? when you was, like, in high school and shit, was you really like, I gotta, I gotta get a girlfriend so I can go fuck? So I can go fuck? Nah, nah. I was trying to. Get, I wanted to be famous, so I wanted to play football. Yeah, like, for me, I wanted to. <laughs> I thought I was going to the NFL. Like, I had, yeah, I had I a girlfriend, but... Even for at the time, like, my girl had to tell me, like, hey, you know, I want to have sex. Like, can we do this shit? And I was like, oh, you okay, cool, I guess. I don't know. I no, okay, I ain't going to lie. I ain't lie, though. I was definitely, like, in the back of the school getting mine, though. I was getting mine. Yeah, I feel like that might be, like... <clears throat> but like, I just I, wasn't... Even in high school, I ain't want to deal with no virgins. I just wasn't out here Oh, you talking shit, about like, the desire for virgins? What I'm saying is T.I. Okay. is trying to protect his daughter from certain types of young men. But I think the idea of these young men are... Um, more like the idea is conjured up out of fear than reality. Like niggas want to fuck, and niggas want to fuck like virgins, or no, just the idea of like how young niggas are trying to fuck, like how horny young niggas are that niggas got to protect their daughters with, like yeah, like gotta make sure she's still a virgin because you know these young niggas are fucking like oh uh, yeah, yeah, like, like they make it seem like I mean how? I know nigga your daughter like, has a security guard like wh- when the fuck well is yeah she- see like exactly. I know that there are weirdos out there but yeah that is kind of like the urgency makes it sound like niggas out there it's pussy in the streets nigga bust a head open like <laughs> yeah, like, yeah like, like that's not a thing like yeah. in high school I wanted to fuck and like I was as horny as anybody else but yeah T I makes it seem and maybe I don't know if dads got some fucking social media network. That I don't know about where niggas is like, you know, fuck her up in the back of the class. Like, there are c- c- clearly horrible stories out there, but on 
the whole, my nigga, like, I don't know if anybody just running down on T.I.'s daughter in Atlanta, like, her with the unbroken hymen, I want to break that shit. Like, I don't she, know. She grown. She can do whatever she want. Wait, did this yeah. happen as a grown-up or was this, like, an yeah, earlier yeah, thing? Yeah, as, as a grown-up. Right, like, fuck? right now. That like, she's make... grown. She can do whatever she want. No, yeah, one hundred. I, 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 I just, I just think it's weird at any point. Like, I just even if she's sixteen and her, she has like a mother and a stepmother and a, yeah, like there's a lot of nigga. levels. It's not like this nigga, I don't know. I'm not a father. Yet. I don't have. I don't have nobody's daughter. But I know the shit I'm delegating to my lady, and it's like, hey, wife, like. Once this time comes, I just feel like that might not be my shit. Like yeah. you know, <laughs> gynecology. Like I think I'm. I think I can cover a lot of lot of room yeah, as a dad. Yeah. Do a lot of good fatherly shit. Gynecology visits, not my fucking lane. I feel like you know that's probably nah. Good. I think if like if you just talk to your daughter and just let her know what's up, and be honest with her, she's gonna do the right thing majority of the time. Yeah, that mindset is just like not. That yeah, is, I, like is. that's one. That's one thing. Like in general, I didn't understand that mindset of just like going to the. I'm like, why don't you teach her how to like yeah. fucking choose properly? Because you're not gonna stop yeah, her from fucking nine times out of ten. If you like, you need to stop fucking to be a virgin forever. She finna fuck immediately. For me, like I just think that when you what how you eliminate that is you just teach your children to uh, de- like demand a certain level of respect from people, and when you do that, like when you 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 teach your children like yo. This is how people are supposed to treat you, talk to you. This is the proper way for someone to interact with you and all of that stuff. When you teach them that, eventually they they weed out their interactions with motherfuckers on their own. Yeah. Like Ooh. certain niggas and certain type of people that are not going to be respectful. Yeah. Just you, you always teach your daughter, like, make sure people respect you. Make sure whatever it is. Hey, I'm getting feedback to it or something. I don't know. That's your phone. You texting people. But uh, <laughs> Dude, that shit on the floor. Yeah, yeah, Fuck yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Fuck you, bitch. I'm trying to get famous. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking up my fame, bitch. You fucking up my fame. Let's go just move. Do that shit. On. Fuck. It. I got a case. Fuck this. <laughs> but um, no, nah, yeah, I think. I think you, um, I think you naturally just weed out people when you teach a child. Like yo, you you make people respect you. Show you show them their value. You do those type of things. And naturally, certain motherfuckers that's not gonna be respectful to your daughter, that's gonna try to pressure your daughter, arrest your daughter, or not understand it's her decision or it's her body. Then they not even gonna be able to fuck with your daughter because she gonna be like, oh nigga, you don't even you don't even fit the mold. Exactly. So go, I folks. think that more so goes is is what you should be doing. We taught you guys teach your kids good gentle management. Yeah, yeah, just talk to them. A bar. Just, just talk us. to them. That's all you gotta do is talk to your kids. Just let them know the real, don't hide nothing. Like, be honest with them. Because a lot of parents don't be honest with their kids and they walk outside like a jackass and start doing shit <laughs> like I don't a jackass. like. jackass. <laughs> that was a real, like a fucking jackass. Yeah, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Real, fucking. A real prick. You feel me? <laughs> a real prick. <laughs> I gotta go deal with them or something. Like, man, now nah, I'm cool. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. Yeah, that'd be the worst thing. Like, I don't know. I haven't met a lot of people that was fucked up, like parents, like a lot of people I dated who was fucked up, like a lot of chicks. Uh, if you was too fucked up, I kind of avoided dating, I mean, meeting your parents and shit. And hopefully it didn't get that far. But sometimes you ever meet something like a chick be so fucked up and you run into their parent, you be like, so you the motherfucker, huh? Like, bitch, you the person. No, I, I had talked to a girl like that, but her parents was cool. It, it was just her. It was just her? Yeah. I got in like, two accidents with her in the car. Hmm? What? Yeah, 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 yeah. Two. And the, and the second one, we didn't even move. We was parked <laughs> at the park on Valentine's Day. What? Like, yeah, car came smack like 90 miles per hour. Car yeah. gone. My car threw. I'm on the ground like in May. And I'm like, it's her. It's, <laughs> it's, I'm dating the, the nigga devil. Said- it's the devil in my mom. It's right here. Like, this motherfucker out my life, fuck. I got fat. Hair grew long. I was looking bad. Wow. Yeah, I did the wrong thing. I know. I know. Oh shit! What the fuck? Yeah, uh, that nigga uh, said I was in the car, and they we, hit me we, at ninety we, miles per hour. He said I'm laying on the ground, mangled and shit. Like it's hurt. Yeah, it's hurt. It's, it's, I'm through. Like, she fucking on my life. Nigga, it was fucking the first the one like, was in Long what? Beach. The three weeks later, it happened. Hey, yeah. do me a favor and keep your pussy to yourself, cause bitch, you fucking my life up. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was working for that. nigga said that shit, shit like he just got up about the fucking emergency. No, it's good. We good. Leave the car. Leave it all. It's hard. That nigga said I was laying on the ground mangled. He said, I realized this, this bitch. <laughs> it was her. Like, I was like, you know what? Like, I, I like you, but I don't like you that much because you kind of bad wow. luck. I'm like, oh, yeah, shit. Yeah. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah, that was the worst time of my little life. I, I uh, learned my lesson. Yeah, I've, my I've lesson. dated somebody that was like just bad luck. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You I gotta go. yeah. You got to go. You need to be in the crazy house. You need to be somewhere, not around jail or something. I, was I just I feel like, nigga, I just, I quit. I'm out. Yeah. You know, 
I'm gonna head out. Now, yeah, I'm gonna head out. Yeah, my problem is out. once you start like you know start buying shit from me, it's like. Well, you gotta stop acting like this. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said, "Oh, you just gonna buy it for me?" Like, well, we can talk this about nigga's it. the epitome of this dick ain't free. <laughs> like, he be like, as long as she cashing out for the, as long as she cashing me out, I'm, I'm willing to. Deal with you for a while. But that's that's young nigga shit though. Young nigga shit Ooh, like you, young, you fuck for a said, meal. Like you be trying said, to like, sugar mama like shouted. Yeah. Oh no, this that's oh man, look, Verge, Verge, look, what you you 24 now, right? Yeah. Before we 27, he, he gonna be fucking with cougars. He cougar hunting before 27. 27. See, he ain't fucking around with an old woman yet. Somebody who really got some money and some benefits could really take him somewhere. Like, he ain't had a bitch take him out to dinner and, like, really. I need my bitch to have a hot Let me tell you something. He ain't never had a. You ever had a woman impress you? (laughs) Hell no. All right. That's what I'm saying. You're going to get you a grown ass woman that's going to come out, come over with that overnight bag. She's going to get you. Let me tell you something. The first time I was fucking with a grown ass woman. And I didn't live by myself. This bitch got a hotel for us and came in with that overnight bag. Oh, wow. I was like, this How this, many days? What you mean? She got the weekend. Look week- how excited he got. See? Uh, yeah, you I see what I'm saying? Wow. It was the weekend joint. Got the oh. weekend joint. We just, I was like, this is. And I started to realize because I was still living with my people and I'm like fucking with grown ass, like grown ass, grown ass. It's gonna be a bitch in stockings and a slip with no drawers. Gonna fuck nah, up. nah. She's gonna kill your shit. Baby. He getting some old secretary pussy <laughs> shit. Nah, she got on Elizabeth that, Taylor perfume and shit. I want that old. <laughs> bitch got on diamonds and shit. Nah, he don't nah, he ain't fucking with uh, bitches with some pearls. Don't, don't touch on. my pearls, then. Nah, um, Hell, not like a grandma. Mm, don't, you, <laughs> <mm-mm>. <laughs> don't you knock this hat crooked? <laughs> you get your son, but you don't I knock this hat talk, crooked. How old we talking? Like thirty five. I got to get to service. We want you some morning. You better eat your grits and come get it. <laughs> Hell, nah. Thirty five, thirty, right around that age. Um, nah, I was I was wilding for respect. So like my like um the biggest age that spared it was always like in the forties like forties but like it was started when I was probably like nineteen and shit like forty niggas yeah like forties chicks in forties I'm not nah, I don't think I could fuck with forty you was fucking pedophile <laughs> <laughs> no no I was, I, but I was I was like nineteen <laughs> yeah, I'm, like, I'm thinking like thirty forty. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they had a bag. I know why they had a bag. He just was out here fucking retire, Antoine nigga. Fisher on TV. Hey, he's about to retire. That's why they had a bag. God damn, 40. Yeah, was, yeah, yeah you a different some... type of nigga. I mean, you know what I'm saying, man? I'm talking about a bitch, man. It's a player. Fuck. It's a player. I don't think I'm mm-hmm. ready for the no 40. Nah, yeah, it was, I told you. I was out here just wilding. Uh-oh, who's this? It's somebody. What's the number? Oh, wait. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Uh, I have a question. Are you guys saying that 35 year olds are cougars? Well, the it depends on, on the age. age. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> it depends on the age. <laughs> depending, <laughs> depending on where you coming from. If yeah. I'm. If, if I'm 19, throw, yeah. If I'm 19, if I'm 19 and you 19, throw 30, me some 35 year old pussy? pussy? Yeah, that's 15 plus. What? Like, you was. You was in high school and shit <laughs> when I was Damn, born. I can't even buy If I'm 19. If I'm 19, yes. I can't even buy alcohol. If you got yet. 15 years on me, shit. yes. 15 years, yeah. You was old enough and grown enough. Like, yeah. at 15, you probably that. had already lost your virginity. How old is you? <laughs> what better than I had yeah, lost your virginity? Who lost their virginity? The guy? My virginity was gone at 15. It was long gone. 15? That shit was gone. Grown? Oh, no. You said, wait, wait. You said the guy, <laughs> the guy's is going at 15 like he was just fucking himself. Like, <laughs> somebody, somebody else. Somebody, <laughs> just somebody else like, who <laughs> gave <laughs> him the beat. your dick and not be a virgin no more. Like, somebody I, gave me. Yeah, like, bro. Be like, yeah, I ain't a virgin no more, my yeah. nigga. But nah, if you was 15 years, like you 15 years, somebody senior, then yeah, you, that's, 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 that's a cougar situation, yo. That's a whole nother type of situation. Yeah. That I, is, thought, I thought it was a 27 year old saying that 35 was this cougar. Right. right. No, 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 no. He was asking me, I said at 19 years old, I had a, a cougar woman. He asked how old, he said he thought it was like, I was saying like 35. Yeah. Okay. And just for the record, there's nothing wrong with the 40 year old. 40 is the new 20. <laughs> Get it hey, right. man, look. I'm sorry about that. Hey, look, it's, I, I fuck with y'all, man. Your pussy is as young as it's upkeep. Yeah, yeah y'all fire. <laughs> <laughs> you right. as young as you feel. Okay, yeah. I got you, TJ. We just wanted, uh, it's the ladies, actually, from the Ladies Night Radio Show. You got Crazy Maria and Mysterious Jack. So we just wanted to Maria, I love you. What's up? <laughs> we wanted to oh, send y'all love. It, man. Yeah, you know, shit. I love y'all. Thank y'all. All right. Well, we'll, Jackie, eventually I'm going to come to one of the station meetings. Stuff be happening I, I hope you come to one of the station meetings. We had one today. Can you come to the next one? It's December 15th at 3.30. It's a Probably, Sunday. probably not, but I'll try. 
<laughs> Let's do like a conference call. Conference me in because I just be doing stuff when y'all be uh, doing that. All right. We'll talk later. You guys have a great show. All right. Appreciate Bye, y'all. Y'all, y'all have a great man. Y'all stay up. Take care of your vaginas. <laughs> <laughs> always. 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 Okay. Right. Bye. <laughs> Shout out to the ladies' night. All the ladies involved with that show. Yeah. No, so, yeah, 15 years old, you're a cougar. You get into my, and if you a man having sex with a woman 15 years younger than you, then you, um, I don't even know what to call, like, you just rob me. I don't even know. What What do you call old niggas that day, young women? I don't know. Oh, daddies? I, those are just daddies, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, those are yeah. daddies. Yeah, bro, I always thought that shit was, like, That's I've never, different. I've That's never thought that shit was, like, okay, like, at no age have ever, so, like, you see, like. So, 30 and, and 45, not cool. What? what? what for, if for, I'm 45 for, and I'm talking to a like, whenever got you a 30 year old chick, 45. That's not cool. You 45 mm-hmm. years old. 30 might not. Like, I don't what know. Are you I, talking about? What are you talking about? I'm 45 and she's 30. Yeah, that's 15 cool. years. I'm that's talking cool. 15 that's years. Cool. That's cool. Now, if you're 50, you got a little 19 year old, 18 year old. You different. That dynamic I've always different. thought is fucked up. Where that's no, how no, it's no, always to me, presented. I, I, like, in, like yeah, movies yeah. and shit in media, that always look weird to me. Like if you're significantly older and this motherfucker is like 22, you're a fucking. If you was like the janitor at the high school when she graduated, and like a year later, you she that that type shit be weird. Like I'm too fresh. That's too fresh. That's too fresh. Yeah. No, for me, it don't even be about too fresh. It be about where you be finding them at. If they young, like okay, if they're in a club, I can see. Like but not even like if you at if you at I don't know nigga grocery store everybody grocery <laughs> shop nigga like I don't no, fucking know no, not no young female not these females now at, at nineteen at nineteen years old bro store? at nineteen years old I was I, in college I living by myself I be I be in the store like I don't be seeing girls not my age ever twenty five and up like. Oh, I don't know. At 19 years old, bro, I was in I was college, so we have to go grocery yeah, shop for ourselves. So at 19 years old, okay. I was in there, like, so I did see, like, okay, you different. need to start picking better places to shop at. You go shop by, like, old <laughs> churches and shit. Nah, and nah, retirement nah. homes. Nah. You be going to Winko. That's by a retirement <laughs> home in the I hospital. <laughs> I do live right down the street from, you know, I save gas. I save gas. Nah, but I mean, for me, I see young people shopping, but I don't know. Like, I, I just think it depends on where you find it. Like, if you, I don't know, man. Like, if you found your, if you found your, your girl, you'd be like, oh, yeah, nah, man. I seen her at my niece prom, man. She was getting in the limo. I was like, damn. <laughs> what? Graduation happened. I was on it. Like, damn. I seen her again at the graduate. Like, if it's that's your story, that's weird. But if it's some shit, like, I don't know. I don't know. Just adult shit. Yeah, I was adulting, and you just bumped into her, and it just, okay. I guess. Yeah, if that works, then, like, yeah, it's like that weird. I don't know. I feel like there is. And if like you, a, like, 50, like, nigga, I ain't dating nothing over 25. <laughs> nah, that's weird. Then you, you, need, sick, to, you, you need to be neutered. But, like, would you say, like, that 30 to. <laughs> <laughs> Neuter that nigga. Oh, if you got an exclusivity uh, that on, nigga like, gotta young, fuck that. Hang on. We got to. I'll be back, y'all. I got to go make sure I have my uncle be what spaded. Is, yeah, nigga, spade this nigga. Out. Whatever the fuck you got to do. I feel like they need to start doing what that What was that age bracket you said? Like 30 to 45, I feel like it's kind of what you're saying. Like if you're in 15 realm, years is cool. Yeah, if we're like in an adult age, like that's just a realm of like adult fucking age bracket and I could meet you at the store. I bet you I'm going to get coffee. And we fucked around and talked and now we dating. I didn't even, we didn't even get like, to the point where I was talking about how old are you? I just thought you was grown. For, for me... I realized, like, the first real time I, I fucked with a grown-ass, like, grown-ass woman, it was completely inappropriate because it was no common ground. So it was like I was 19 and she was, like, 40 and shit, and it was like I didn't drink no coffee, so it was like we couldn't meet at a Starbucks and no shit like that. And Why I you wasn't can't? old enough Why to... Why you can't? Why not? I get wasn't water, old enough to drink. Cup. You know what I'm water, saying? Like, a water cup. man, fuck it. Why, why not? Nigga ended up going to the bitch house and like she had like pizza and shit for a nigga. It looked like a, a kid slumber party and I was just like, <laughs> like Come get some of this Goonies pussy. Like what? No, it wasn't like no, it wasn't ch- like the food layout and the spread was really <laughs> awesome shit. Like, yeah, like morning so, cartoons with some ass. Wow. It was not. Nah, it wasn't a childish spread. It was really like as an adult. Don't give me. Imagine your junk food night with your girl. Like if it's movie night and it's junk food night with your girl, that's. That's what it was. I, it was like wings, pizza. Because it started to sound like a fucking no, I'm not, it teenage wasn't, mutant Ninja turtles commercial. Yeah. Like. Oh, it wasn't that. It wasn't that. But in hindsight, for a first like a first time kicking it with somebody and like how I do things now and like let's go and it wasn't like mm-hmm. it was really like she's dumbing down everything to be able to get this. Yeah, I don't and it like, was like that. Don't do that. Yeah, now that I think about it in hindsight, that situation was really weird. As I got older and I dated older women you again. It became real situations where it was like really like no nigga you need to be an adult okay. like I'm not I'm not dumbing down shit you need to be a man but maybe she like it like that 
maybe she did at that time i never delved that was like the first time so it was like a like the shock of doing it it was kind of like you know how you go through that internal battle of your first real time doing something that you're like every um every man that encounters like his sexual um you know, you've always had these things in your head that you wanted to do sexually or do sexual fantasy. Oh, the fuck? Not again. Hello. Or not. Or no. Did they hang up? Whoever that was, your car got disconnected. Yeah, I don't know. Whoever you are. Call up, call back, I guess. Or not. I don't know. Yeah. Call back whoever that was. Your car got disconnected. Um, for me when that happens or in my opinion when that happens like there's a little bit of nervousness like if you was a young nigga like there it is i knew that was coming hello hello yo 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 who is this what's the area code 313 i already knew who it was i seen the area code i knew who the fuck it was what up nigga what the hey fuck hey hey what up nigga this is live this is live go on say some shit get yourself in trouble nigga hell yeah I heard y'all play the Detroit shit. I said, let me call here, God damn it. <laughs> my nigga. So this Ray from Detroit, this is a nigga that we were just talking about in the story. My little cousin in the studio with us, so we was telling stories and shit earlier before we got on air, and you had came up. So it's just funny it. that you called. I heard that nigga. Oh, yeah, okay, <laughs> what's up, cool. What's up, what's up? <laughs> what's the deal with you, nigga? Hey, that's, hey, hey, I could be realistic. I could be real. Yeah, yeah. Was that the nigga there? That Was, was that the cousin? That was there when uh, Soldier Boy got his ass beat. No, 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 no. That's not him. He was at the house this morning. Though. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, nah, that's not him. <laughs> Who was that? Who was that? My cousin Mac. My cousin on my mama's okay, side, okay. the dark skin, the, the blood one. Okay. One from, yeah, nah, that ain't him though. But uh, call me this evening. He gonna be at the house. He he got my son right now, so he gotta come to the house. <laughs> I, I, you gotta ask him about it. Fuck, bro. Ain't to What's me. the hey, deal, man, my nigga? Y'all doing y'all shit, bro? Nigga, man, man appreciate that. I my had nigga. to call in. Hey, man, man, I heard you niggas was down y'all there doing ass at the homecoming, bro. What's that about? You, wait, you said what? I said, I heard you niggas. Hey, Ray said, come again, say what? <laughs> yeah, I heard you niggas was down there at home coming doing acid, bro. What's that about? Damn. Mm. <laughs> See, technically it's live, so I like Takashi shit. I can't really comment <laughs> on shit like that. Right, well, this sound like a recording right now. You can't even talk. This yeah. sound like when the fans yeah. be like, play it back for him. Yeah, and right here, Ray, you said you got the acid from where? <laughs> Nah, we ain't doing that. asking fed questions, boy. Yeah, bro. How was how was Grandma homecoming, man? Tell us about it real quick. Tell everybody on the show that's listening how about, about it. I'm almost on Fucking wild. Yeah, man. All right, that's a description. Fucking I don't want wild. you to elaborate on. <laughs> he meant hey. that. He just said fucking wild. <laughs> Ray meant that hey, shit. The fucking Grandma stayed homecoming. Bring, hey, listen. Ray had a suede listen, blazer on and shit. Go ahead. You see that shit? I, <laughs> I, I see, I I see you looking real Detroit. We was fucking him up. Ray looking yeah, real bro, Detroit, was, man. Yeah, I, I wasn't looking, but it was uh yeah, it was a spectacular sight. <laughs> Not for me, per se. You know what I mean? I heard that it hey, was a lot of ass. Hey, Ray ain't talking about <laughs> shit. <laughs> You know. <laughs> so you know <laughs> when niggas start not talking about shit, you know they try not to get in trouble, but they try to make a point. Yeah. Um, it was um assets. Yeah, uh, very colorful. I looked, very, the, very I looked colorful. in the paper. They did a report on it. They did an article on it that it was a. Uh, it was booted. <laughs> did this? You can see that public wild. hell. <laughs> it, it was fucking wild, man. I had something to tell y'all. I had something I wanted to tell y'all on the air, but I couldn't remember. Why y'all don't? Why y'all never smoking weed when y'all doing this shit? Because we can't smoke weed in the studio. But I'm having a second studio built right now. Oh, I can't that. come visit. I can't come visit that I mean, motherfucker. No, yeah, yeah. no, nah, nah, nah. uh, By the time, by the time you come visit, the other studio be built. I'm working on it right now. Nigga said, oh. <laughs> and I was like, they never smoke a weed. My, my, oh, this is other shit. Hey, nigga, you have tried, you have tried to get us to talk about illegal shit on the radio for years, nigga, and you finally pulled this shit off. You mean? I, I really thought, well. you, you was like, hey, right, we should record this shit and make a podcast. You no. said that shit in like, oh eight, nigga, like oh mm. nine. You're welcome. And folks. I was like, EJ. Us recording illegal <laughs> shit would get us locked up. <laughs> you figured a way out to do it. Yeah, man. I just had to find the right state. Really that was, I had to realize what shit I was doing that was illegal and what states I, would allow me to do it. And really, it was just like drugs and shit. And so I found a state that had that, that would let me do it. So I just did it in, in uh, California. So we good. Hey, you got to tell your cousin about the time that we got so high. We was looking for Detroit Street. <laughs> we got, we got <laughs> 
that. Nigga, you, it was, you got it. Like, oh, you got to feel that. I can't tell. Bro, remember the time we was <laughs> – we was smoking. We was in the room. We was smoking. I think we was watching Belly or some shit. And somebody knocked on the door, and I thought it was like some enemies from the, my hood. Again. <laughs> thought it was some ops I had in California, my nigga. I was like, Nah, they just said all oh, shit. Were you out here? We was, I was in Louisiana, niggas nigga. From, niggas from Detroit. Niggas from Detroit and Compton. Like, oh, it just didn't happen. Oh no, it's a natural thing, bro. Like, it's something about LA. Like Compton niggas and Detroit niggas specifically, bro. Niggas should Paranoid. not link. It's a no. It's a natural when they link up. Natural love, bro. Compton and Detroit. I don't know what it is about it, my nigga, but the shit is natural. Bro, Every Detroit happen, nigga I ever met happen, in my bro. life is the realest, coolest nigga ever, bro. I've never met a Detroit nigga I ain't like. Shout out to my nigga Mark. That's on. We got a nigga from Detroit on the station, Mark. Another cool ass Detroit bro, nigga. Straight up. Straight yeah. up, yeah. Mark, he from the, he from the east side or the west side? Uh, he from he from Detroit. So yeah, like, yeah. ain't none of that shit got no street Ooh, lights. And don't yeah. none of y'all niggas clip y'all toenails. You gotta figure that shit out. You gotta figure that <laughs> nah, shit out. Nah, nah, he from somewhere close to you. Whatever side. You from the east side, right? No, nigga. No. <laughs> no I'm from the west side. Damn. It's the difference. Oh, yeah, because east side niggas grimy, huh? I think he is an east side nigga. Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy east side. Jimmy nigga. from the east side. Yeah, Jimmy east side. Nigga. Jimmy was a nigga that was so smart. Let me tell you how smart and fr- east side Detroit he was. This is what happens when smart niggas and uh, grow up on the east side of Detroit. Jimmy was so fucking smart Terrifying that this nigga smart, was actually. like, he got a scholarship to come to Grambling, bro, and ended up, before he was even like a sophomore, ended up being like the head of the science department. Oh, wow. And the nigga asked me, when Ray introduced me to the nigga, he said, EJ, ask this nigga why he at college. I said, why are you here? This nigga said, oh, my brother sent me to college so I can invent a new crack and take it back to Detroit so we can get everybody hooked on it and get rich. <laughs> Ray, my, Ray, am I lying? <laughs> Swear. The nigga looked me in my face, bro, and was dead ass serious and said, my big brother, she said, I got three big brothers. They sent me back. He said, they sent me to college so I can uh, get uh, invent a new crack so I can take it back to Detroit and we can all get rich. Wow. Nigga was dead no ass lie. serious. No fucking lie. This nigga dude. was a pimp, but he was also no the manager lie. at McDonald's. I- this nigga was a pimp and also the manager at McDonald's, bro. Right now, He's low key one of the most ate, amazing people I've ever met. My nigga, we some ate bitches. Three McDonald's for years. Do you remember when them bitches had that fight at McDonald's and the police came and they was like, Jimmy, why you didn't break up the fight? <laughs> they asked the, the matter. The police asked Jimmy, sir, why you didn't break up the fight? He was like, I was telling them hoes to stop fighting. He said, but they wasn't listening. What you want me to grab them bitches? I told them, hoes, stop fighting. <laughs> that nigga stupid. Hoes, stop fighting. If this nigga was that the nigga greatest human being ever. And the nigga, remember the nigga ran from Mr. AKA and yeah. won? He was like, man, I'm pimping half these hoes, nigga. I'm pimping these hoes. This crazy. We was like, how the fuck did Jimmy win, Mr. AKA? Jimmy was like, man, I'm pimping all these bitches. I said, boy, y'all Detroit niggas uh-huh. are the worst. Holy uh, shit. Hey, I gotta jump off. I gotta jump off. I gotta tell you this. At homecoming, niggas kept running up to me screaming, T Fi nasty. Oh, All kind of my, my wife, what the hell? <laughs> niggas still talking about that? I was like, yeah, it's man. I, it'll never nah, die. That's know. the greatest establishment ever. It'll never die, bro. Campus. It's it's a moment. Like it'll never die. Bro, they ran to me talking about this nigga through the hottest honey house. Niggas got shot at that bitch. Bruh, nigga did get shot damn. in the leg at the honey house, huh? Hey, man, go ahead and hang up. We're going to talk about wow. this shit. Remember, nigga got shot no, at the honey house? No, I don't. In the parking yeah, lot. Leave me the fuck alone. I don't know I, what And this nigga about. Ray came and got me. He was like, oh, EJ, we got to go in the parking lot because the nigga got shot. Why y'all niggas talking about me? I said, what? I said, Ray was up here talking about me talking about weed. I'm, I don't know what. I don't know these niggas. I just come here. Oh, I don't man. know what you know, y'all you, talking you, about. You know you from the you know you from the hood when you think somebody getting shot is the pinnacle of your fucking event. I was like, nigga, we made it. Somebody got shot. That All nigga was shit. like, EJ, we got the best hunter house ever. Somebody got shot in the parking lot. Nigga, he ain't died nothing. He just got shot in the leg, so we cool. I was like, I was like, nigga, you from Detroit. And my dumb ass from Compton, so I'm like, I understand what he's saying, though. Nigga, it's a lit event when somebody gets shot, because that means too many niggas. Niggas was dead. Didn't they give us, like, an extra day for that? Yeah, nigga, like the school gave us money, remember? Yeah. No, but, like, was that the, the second one they gave us, the second one they gave us money, the first one, we just did that shit. shit on our own, and they and gave they us like, an extra day that last day. they gave us, like, day. an extra yeah. day to do it. Because it had got bigger than what oh. they expected it to be. And then remember that next year oh. we had told niggas about it and they was like we went to the activities department and they gave us money for that shit. How much? How much did they give us, Ray? Was it like fifteen hundred that or something they gave us? I don't remember. Oh. I just know that's when we took. Uh, yeah. That's when we yeah, took. I don't recall. Yeah. I don't recall. I just oh, remember that's when we took. Yeah, it, it was. It was. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my damn ass I forgot we on the radio. <laughs> hey, yeah, nigga, we took it from the door your, to whatever your cousin, thing that was in the back. Your cousin, was he it. be asking some incriminating ass <laughs> questions. He's like, How much money they give y'all? Nah, that's asking that one question. I want to you know. My dumb ass answered it. I don't and know. We on air, man. But go ahead, bro. We appreciate yeah, yeah. you calling in, man. Hey, I love y'all niggas, man. Y'all doing y'all shit. Like, I didn't cuss out two niggas at work about listening to y'all show out loud. <laughs> but fuck keep, them, we're going to keep doing it anyway, man. Keep it up. Y'all keep talking about titties. 
and all kind of shit like that. Oh yeah, man, and, uh, absolutely. Man. It work, man. I, hey man, work. We, we gonna we gonna do it, bro. When you touch down in the city, man, we gotta have you here, bro. You gotta pull up. Fuck well, I'm bringing a pop. Never mind. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. We'll yeah. figure it Sounds out. Sounds great. Sounds great. All right, man. I'm all at you, bro. Talk to you guys later. <laughs> all right. Go. All right. Nigga, boy. Huh. Used to be some nigga. Fucking, we um, were always upstanding citizens, you all out there, okay? We were always Now, nah, so let me explain. Let me explain students. this 100 house situation. So, it's amazing. Our first year, they, first year at Graham, I wasn't even there that first year at that one. Y'all did that one. And y'all said they gave y'all an extra day on that last year. On yeah, the on first the, year. the first one. Yeah, the first one we just, and I want to say that was like initially raised out there, but we just ran with that bitch. And that shit was, I didn't think they was going to give us no more because the first one was so successful, but it was, that bitch was wild. Then they gave us a second day, and then like yeah, the next year when you got there, we um, they gave us some the fun. biz the business mind got there, and I'm like, hey nigga, let's write a proposition, go get some money from these yeah. niggas, because mm. I was working at admissions office at Grambling, and I was like, let's fucking write a proposition and get some money from this shit, and we wrote that shit, and niggas approved it, and they gave us some money, and we had a hundred house, and that shit was lit, and I'm talking about that motherfucker was big as shit, and niggas was coming. And somebody got shot in the leg in the parking lot. And me and Ray, dumbass, being the ghetto niggas that we are, we was excited because we was like, nigga, your event not lit unless somebody get shot. And so somebody got shot at our event, so our shit was lit. Y'all legends, probably. Yeah, nah, without a doubt. T-Fi Nasty will always live in Grambling, like forever. Nah, it's Tubman, a part of it. Tubman yeah. was a wild ass. Tubman was a terrible place. I love A Tubman. disgusting place. Like, I <laughs> Like, that was the name know, of the dorm. You know, you could, you know, yeah. you could go room. back and, like, you know, adjust your dorms, like, go up. But I re-upped on Tubman as many times as I could. That's how goofy as shit Tubman was. Hell no. Nah. Tubman was like, um, I was going to stay in Tubman. I was going to transfer my dorms to Tubman until I uh, went and seen y'all had them community showers. And I'm like, nah, this like Oz. <laughs> I ain't taking no shower. There. I'm like, this like Oz. Bro. I'm not taking no shower yeah. with my <laughs> socks and uh, flip-flops on. Where I'm good. Where was the school at? In Grambling. It's actually in Grambling. The city is in Grambling. That's the name of the school. Grambling State University. It's in the small city of Grambling, right outside of Ruston, I guess. Or Monroe would be the, the major city, okay. closest major city. Or Shreveport. Um, is Monroe I mean, co- I mean Monroe is closer, but I'm talking about if you like look at big cities. Well, I guess Monroe got an airport. Don't they both got airports? Yeah. So I guess I mean I just thought like Monroe, I think is this I mean, yeah, the if you want to go by the biggest closer drive. But yeah, yeah, but if the biggest name city that's the closest is Shreveport. Yeah. Okay. So that yeah. Northeast Louisiana. Fucking yeah, lit. I ain't going there. No, nah, it's a lit. My nah, nigga, go. Louisiana, nah. Louisiana? I've been to Louisiana. You, you ain't been to Grand. You ain't been. You ain't been nah, right. Okay, you ain't been the right way. Right you got to go the right way. All right. See, you can go anywhere and it be trash if you don't go the right way. True. Yeah, you yeah, got to go the right way. Like me and my lady, we went to. That's why we went. I took. We went to San Francisco that weekend. Mm-hmm. Is because Tiff had been in San Francisco, but she had never been. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you have to, yeah, you have to go to a place knowing how to go to that place. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. yeah. So when we went, when I took her back, it was like you know we went and did the shit. Like we went to the clubs and stuff. Not clubs, but we went and did shit for like dinner and like yeah. seafood from that place. You know, we San Francisco's famous for seafood. It's right on the bay. It's right on the harbor. We went and seen the sights. Yeah. And just really enjoyed the city. And so sometimes it depends on who you go with, what you're going to do. Because sometimes you expect to do that all the time. Like, we're going to go to the city and club. Yeah, like shit. Like, yeah. actually, what, what we were just talking about, like, as much as homecoming is a, it's a wholesome event. But even going to one of those, like, it's just a cool ass. Like, you ever go to some shit? Like, this is some really dope ass black shit. Yeah. That's In reality, just really dope-ass homecoming is just a big ass picnic. Yeah. It's just a big ass p- cookout. That's all it is. A big ass cookout with a bunch. Of, can you imagine if somebody just met at, like, I don't know where you live? You Like, what park is by your house? Uh. Oh, right, yeah, everybody just, just mad niggas met at Mayfair Park. I'm talking about all ages, all years, just met up and want nobody tripping on them, nobody. Like, yeah, young lit. kids, and just we just lit. had a big-ass party, just a big-ass cookout, and you could walk around and just walk up to anybody's days. situation and just be like, yo. Yeah, I do sound funny. With everybody that you went to high school with. Damn. Just everybody that ever went to your high school, er- and ain't nobody tripping. Like, just, that's just it. Yeah, that's I really what homecoming is. Yeah. Fine. Essentially, it's just big ass family reunion with just people that are all Grambling family, like all Grand fam. So, yeah, we both graduated from there, though, right? No, I attended. <laughs> it's the difference between attending the college and graduating. He graduated. I he attended. said that shit hard. I attended. <laughs> I, I came. I attended. I enjoyed it. Because when people always say that, they be like, "Grambling graduates stand up." I'll be like, "What about the attendance? <laughs> what about the niggas that attended Grambling?" Cause I feel like if you get so much of student loan debt from somewhere, you can say you attended that motherfucker. Absolutely. Like I'm still paying yeah. 
on my attendance to Grambling. Trust me, Navy hit a nigga every month for they they love student loans. So yeah, I can't do it. Yeah, I attended Grambling. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. I be uh, I got I'm getting me a Grambling graduate. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's the one you put around your license plate? I don't give a fuck. I attended and I'm successful. To me, that's the same as graduating. If you can attend a college and then leave that bitch, if you could drop out and be successful, I feel like that's the same. Technically, I feel like the niggas should give me an honorary degree. I got a radio no, I was, show. I was about to say, like, when, like, and I was a communications major. So technically, I was a communications major, yeah, and I have a radio <laughs> show, <laughs> and I have a good, I'm, I have a good job. You don't get an honorary. Yeah, Grandma like, has to give me an honorary degree. Yeah, just give him if, some money. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give him some money too. That's even in the plans, like for yeah. sure. Even yeah. if they like before they give me the honorary degree, I'm, I was planning yeah. on giving them money. Yeah, like Dr. Dre. Yeah, but my whole thing is like. Grambling gonna give me an honorary degree and they better hear you for somebody else do it because what's gonna happen is we're gonna get famous and these white colleges gonna come it's gonna be like Sonoma State is gonna try to come give me <laughs> 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 fucking Humboldt State is gonna try to come and give us honorary degrees and I'm gonna have to hold them niggas off I'm if I have the choice I'm for sure only taking honorary degrees from HBC like if I ever get oh, to yeah, that I'll point where I, like God's willing to bless me to the point where I can get famous enough and successful enough that people feel like we because really what that is is like Really, what that is is just college is trying to get you pussy to be able to say they fucked you. Yeah, yeah. like that's just really it. They just want an association promote, promote, with you. Promote, basically. Yeah, they just want an association with you, so the college just give you some pussy, and that's in the form of degree. <laughs> Your fans gonna go to them. That's it. Nah, I can't do that. I, yeah. I can't do that. No, no, nah, I don't want no college. I don't want none of that. Oh, nah, I'm. I, I, I will for sure. If Grambling offered it, if, I a, fuck if with a different, my college, like, if I would, HBCU, I really yeah, I fuck with my college. Like yeah. TJ. For TJ, I feel bad because he did all them years and probably gonna get an honorary one for free. Mm-hmm. So for me, I feel cool because they're gonna have to I give me an honorary attended. doctorate. Yeah, oh yeah, see. yeah, I need a doctorate. Damn. Okay, you see, yeah, <laughs> and for me, <laughs> and for me, and TJ, <laughs> you can't give TJ a doctorate and then give me a bachelor's. Like, no, yeah, nigga, it's honorary doctor trying to smoke. Yeah, like, I want a doctorate. Yeah, I'm gonna go in there and negotiate my shit. Like, how much man I gotta get out to get a nigga a doctorate though? Like, how much I gotta I gotta build a whole dorm room around this bitch to be Doctor Gilbert when I leave this motherfucker? And then by that time, I'll be like, I've been giving y'all a free promo for years, for years. What? Like, I've been I've been out here repping this. I be wearing, I've been buying this? sweatshirts. I've been watching Bayou Classics. Two years, a year and a half, two years. Who on us doing this? Yeah, this two, this, y'all, this two, it's two already years. two years of free promo in the hole. Yeah, no, I need Jeez. I need that honorary doctor from Graham. Yeah. yeah if it's another HBCU, I, I would have to take some time to consider it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm waiting for the petty. I feel like, I feel like no, here come the petty. And the Southern gonna get the niggas coming out the gate with doctorates. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. if Southern came with, with it, I might. <laughs> Southern might get lumped happy. in with the white colleges. <laughs> Southern might get lumped in with the white colleges, and I might have to turn it down. Not gonna hold you up. My first college can't be no white college. Like I'm, am I, like even if it's USC, even if USC came to me and was like, "Hey, we've got this. Uh, if you're if you're willing to build a wing, we will give you a degree." And I'll be like, "I would come with some wild demands, like, oh, y'all gonna give like black people free tuition for the next year and a half?'" Who? I'm gonna just tell the nigga straight up, like, "I want to play quarterback." <laughs> <laughs> That's it, nigga. I don't give a fuck. Either I gotta play quarterback, or you gotta let me coach a bowl game. That's the only way I'm doing this shit. Be a coach, get that money. Nope, I, I just want one game. One game. One game to either play quarterback, coach a bowl game. Four well, quarters. I'm at the helm. Y'all do, fade is in my hands. Do both. Worth a million dollars in your pocket. I don't want no money. You want no money. I want no money. I just want that. That experience is worth it. I just want yeah. the the you one because up. I feel you like I feel up. like I feel like nobody's gonna negotiate to give you money and just let you do what the fuck you want to do with no experience, they no definitely nothing. Definitely not gonna let you be coached. I need one. I don't. Yeah, even, let you be I don't give a fuck play. if it's a spring game. I don't give a fuck if it's just a scrimmage. <laughs> I need one game. Let's be practice coach for sure. One game. One game. Quarterback. So is said the bowl game too. One, one game. Right. Yeah, <laughs> now fuck that. Y'all yeah, want a bowl game? Fuck yeah, that. They not give you that. I would one. give outlandish statements like that. Nah, they give you that. Somebody like UCLA came. Like, can you imagine Arizona State coming to me and being like, "Yo, we want to give you a degree." I would really be like, "Toga party." Toga party. <laughs> Toga, toga. Like I would just fucking. It would be, yeah. White colleges. I'm making it so hard. NYU come to me for an honorary degree. Not gonna take it. I'm now like Yale. now that you're listing, that. you're listing all these schools. I'm like associating the city with them. I was like, you said Arizona. I was like, ugh. Yeah, NYU. You got New York though. Where's that at in New York? Is it close to like? It's in the city. Oh, okay, we'll see. I it's can, in the city. Columbia is in the city. Oh, see there, that's they got bargaining chips. I got, I got a reason to come out there. Somebody like Harvard like, couldn't run up on me with no. Oh yeah, like if you said like Harvard might be able. Oh yeah, they you said like you said like U of A. You gonna be, be like, the man? You get that degree? Uh, president. Yeah. You would be a president with that one. Yeah, Harvard, Harvard. Yeah. But like, I don't know, Grand Valley State. <laughs> Keep that shit. 
<laughs> if my first college I ever attended in Mississippi ever asked me offer me an honorary degree, I I would take it just to tr- disrespect it. I dig it. I hate that place. How you gonna disrespect it? I, I, don't, know. I don't know. Everybody I don't know. I would just probably accept it and never acknowledge them like I continuously do. I would just continuously never acknowledge them. I would let them take. I would. I would. I don't know. I wouldn't let them give me a doctorate because I wouldn't want to be known as Dr. Gilbert from them. So I'd probably just take like a bachelor's from them. But I would never acknowledge it. And then I would make Grambling give me another bachelor's and another and then my doctorate. And then I would acknowledge That's how much I hate that college. This should be lit for like a like two weeks and I think I just would like end up using the degrees as like coasters but yeah. it'd be cool hell nah I would put them shits my granny hell nah hell nah auntie nah. cookie auntie cookie would want them shits auntie yeah. cookie would yeah. my ass if I didn't give her them degrees <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah I don't know I'm, frame it nothing if I'm I don't know and can you imagine no bro I'm making people call me I'm doctor philanthropist level sure. nigga, I'm, I'm doctor I'm doctor I'm everywhere people call I'm doctor everywhere absolutely I would make my doctor call me doctor yeah that I would do. <laughs> Can you imagine getting a prostate exam and the guy's like, "All right, doctor, I'm gonna stick my finger up your ass now, doctor." Okay, like, doctor. <laughs> oh no, I know my lady would like hate, hate me for like two weeks. Like this particular, like whatever particular lady, I'm just it'd be like it's Doctor Dick. Like I would be mm. Doctor Dick for like two weeks. <laughs> mm. It would be a lot of doctor themed fucking. Like it would be stupid. Like, I would, and I wouldn't get I wouldn't mad at her for not that, liking that would be, me. That, like, that would be expected. I wouldn't do. I wouldn't do I, that. I I know it's expected. I know it's really cliche, but I could feel it. Like as we're talking about it now, mm-hmm. I would like I would get a real authentic doctor's coat and like the little stethoscope. I would do stupid shit. Maybe not every time. But we got one to do good fuck sessions where I'm ignorant with the doctor thing. Does that shit come with a prescription pad? Hell no. What? No, I don't think we ever asked the right nah, questions about this. Nah, when you get your doctor, do you? Why you a doctor? But not a real. But you're doctor. not a medical doctor. I feel like I think medical doctors were like they make Yo, the distinction. You a doctor? How when a nigga from uh, Hangover was a dentist and he had a prescription pad? He's a but dentist. you give medication for being a dentist. Like if like okay, like in my shit, if I'm like if I become like a doctor of like psychology, I don't write like prescriptions. So, so it can, just depends on what they give us a doctorate in, right? Yeah. yeah. So, you so gotta, that's like, what I'm saying. For your major, you already. You could be, I would just you were just a man. I would just be like a doctor of communication. So I don't know what that. I don't know what the fuck. That constitutes me to do. You get free mics. Like, you know, I just like you get like yeah. a, it's a free you get instant, you get instant, you get infinite <laughs> discounts on like radio wear. That account. shit's fire. That makes sense. That, I mean, might, that's cool, but like the name when you said doctor and how you put it together was garbage. Yeah, doctor and communication. Yeah, don't I don't even shit. sound like somebody like ah oh, okay you 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 a doctor doctor. Yeah, I'm gonna go with him. You a doctor of talking. Dang, I'm fuck with you like that. That's some real pimp shit though. If you are a doctor of talking though. I mean the way it sounds that, like that yeah. sounds hard. Yeah, mm-hmm. when you say doctor with the whole word, the real word. So it's kind of like you just get your. It's like, uh, I would get mine changed, and I would probably tell them like, give me a doctor in like pimpology then, because a doctor in communications <laughs> is just really a nigga that just has amazing rhetoric and just could talk his yeah. way through anything. I, and for me, I just feel like I am a, 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 a immaculate what, speaker. That's what just, it would be. Though. It'd be like, <laughs> this is talking. <laughs> so we would be a doctor in communication. Oh yeah, I just yeah. feel like just a vast majority of words in my lexicon, the, the vocabulary is just really on a whole different level. <laughs> You know said lexicon. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> lexicon. That nigga's so serious, too. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. These bitches don't even... You picking up what I'm putting down? Yeah, I'm, I'm listening. Come on, now. I am. Call a bitch muscles, because she ain't going to never catch up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Niggas really... <laughs> Speaking of that particular, did you know I was so pleased about this? These niggas, and I'm, I'm completely thanking Eddie Murphy. They didn't fuck around to put the original Superfly on Netflix. I lost my shit. Whoa, I, I never that's crazy, no one. nigga! I was so I, was, I thought they was. You know what? That's me. funny. I did actually see it. I seen the artwork. I thought for they was, it. When but I, I didn't say, watch it, nigga. I couldn't help myself. I How clicked play so fucking fast. It was beautiful. It was, it was, it was you never like, seen the original Superfly? Nah. Come on now. I'm like, finna walk out the studio. <laughs> come nigga. on now. Hey, there's a lot of movies out there. Like. You ever seen the Mac? Nah. You don't know about Goldie, nigga? Nah. Stick yourself. <laughs> nah. Nah. Oh, wait, Stick what yourself. Year, what year that came out? What year that came the out? The Mac came out like Nigga, long before any of us were even thoughts. I can't, I can't keep it. But that's everything. another, like, you ever, you, okay, you ever heard Nelly song Pimp Juice? Sing it for me. <laughs> I tell you, I was not fucking with Nelly like that. Like Nelly was not on my list. Of, you feel me? Nelly was cool. Nelly was all right to me. Nelly was like the biggest the selling tap- artist. This nigga keep time. thinking I'm Shazam or something. Every song Nelly, that come up, you like tell like, me the name like, of it. Tell me the like, name. Like, like, song. But Nelly was not like Nelly. Like was, Nelly no was big way. enough to go from artist and then had a booming clothing line yeah. for when, like Nelly made. Fuck niggas really don't respect Nelly's. Nah, they don't. They don't. Then Nelly had one of like like. 
Everybody yeah, fuck, loves and Nelly's had like three country number ones, nigga. Man, that shit it. too. Cross what's that? Crossover Cross, shit. Yep, cross See, I'm a Lil Wayne fan, so anything Lil Wayne I know. And that nigga legitimately uh, Lil Wayne was fucked up uh, Lil, Lil Wayne fucked up everything. Um What you mean with the mixtape game and how he was coming? Nah, what he was rapping about, Lil Wayne, the reason why all you little niggas feel like dying. <laughs> that's why all y'all depressed and sad valid, and crackheads now. That's a valid It's because Lil Wayne was sipping lean and doing all that. That's why all y'all got green dreads, sip lean, and having seizures. Because all y'all grew up on Lil Wayne and y'all think Lil Wayne the greatest shit ever. Yeah, yeah. And that's what all y'all ever say is, I grew up on Lil Wayne. Weezy have baby. Bitches on my dick, but my name ain't Harry Potter. That's that's all y'all niggas know, bro. And, and that's why all y'all little niggas got uh, dreads with patches in them. Um, <laughs> And <laughs> sip lean and having seizures. That's why all y'all niggas is and want to rap without writing shit down. You damn right. Cause I was in the I was rapping for a cool minute. Yeah. I was writing no words. I already done seen she you little niggas. No words. No, I write no words. <laughs> Yeah, that's Zero. that's how because Wayne started that shit that I don't use. I don't write. So that's why all these little niggas now don't write. They just be going and that's why you yeah. get songs that just be like. Ah, what? Pass, 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 little bleasy. I'm See? about to hit the, hit the booth with some cool or something, you know what I'm no, saying? No, you're not. And that's why you not. niggas can't do no shows and can't remember none of y'all shit. Just be nah. around it. Just be running around on stage pointing the microphone at the crowd. And that's all you need, though. No, that's... No, it's... Exactly. That's an art form. You like energy. You like energy. You know what I'm saying? You can't even see me. That means you're doing an aerobics class, nigga. Hey. You just be running around stage sweating. I said like the energy. Like energy. People just like the energy. Yeah, like the vibe. It's like... It gets the people going. What is what this? It? What are they saying? No, I don't know. It's but, provocative. But look at the, look at the kids it gets the people going. They hide the kite. They not moving. They don't even care, really. So, That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. the, y'all all the kids of Lil Wayne. That's what I'm saying. We seeing all Lil Wayne too. That's why you seeing famous decks have seizures on stage yeah. and pass out on on live. And all y'all little niggas, even Deion Waiters, he the nigga that played for the Heat. He had a seizure the other day on the team playing. Damn. Y'all little niggas is the children of Lil Wayne. Niggas just having seizures. That was some shit I read about as a kid. Like y'all just be having. Shit. Y'all just be having seizures for fuck. You know, you know how much cough syrup you got to drink to you just you your know, body just be sh- a lot. Come on, man. Y'all a niggas lot. don't even be understanding. Y'all be. I, that's yeah. that Lil Wayne. We all know y'all love Lil Wayne. Y'all better learn about somebody else. I listen to everybody, but he's just the favorite. You feel me? I listen to everybody. I mean, that whole generation. Nelly, no, I don't know. It is. I don't know about no, I I mean, no like, Nelly. That's why y'all got tattoos on y'all face, can't get no jobs. Y'all just, I mean, y'all just T.I. take the worst T.I. parts of a nigga. Like, yeah, they just take the worst. Because <laughs> that's the easiest parts to be. Nobody shit. took the fact that this nigga Tupac? had been rapping for like 10 years since he was 11. Longer and how many than, fucking... Like 20? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like... Y'all niggas didn't never take that, which I took from it. Yeah, that's the point. It's just it's God bless OGs. It's, y'all niggas really need them. Like. Nah, I think for OGs it was the same way. Like niggas, niggas just dressed like Ice Cube. Nobody actually Act like got Cube. off the block. I just, just mean like war Ben mean, Davis khaki suits. But I'm suits. saying he was like <laughs> nobody ever mean, did nothing. Ice Cube did. But they you just really look like need them. niggas to go like, hey, what did Ice Cube do? Oh, never mind. Like. <laughs> You need niggas to go, hey, like, I see that you like this particular artist, but you should maybe do this part of him, and that shit you're doing is stupid. That's it. That's but that's all. what I'm saying. That's just generationally. But not nah, a tattoo on the face and all that is kind of working That's what now. I'm saying, it's shit. It's working now. It it's, is working. A little tat on the face and the saying words, that works. That gets you famous. It gets you and saying You come words. around here with a tat on your face, and I'm going to punch you <laughs> until it come off. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna, I got a good looking face. I can't do that. I'm going to just punch you until it come off. I I'm going to keep hitting you <laughs> until the tattoo fall off your, until the letters start falling off. <laughs> no, I can't I'm going to hit you until it. Okay, I'm just gonna let you know that you come right here with a goddamn tattoo on your face. I'm gonna punch you in your motherfucking face until it fall off. I don't give a fuck if it say prolific victory or none of that shit. Until it don't say nothing. No. That's what I'm gonna do. That shit could never fall off. Exactly. (laughs) (laughs) So I gonna never stop punching your ass in your goddamn face. I said, I'm gonna beat your ass forever. Forever. This is it. Cardi B meme, nigga, forever. Yeah, we'll go ahead and quit. Lost your fucking mind talking about the face tattoo thing work now. That shit don't work. Work what? It yeah, I'm like, what does it? What it does work. It work. What does it work? I want to know. It, yeah, it, what it, does it it's work? just like it's a style. You tell your face, make a little song. Put it on your arm. I mean, you can do that. You but what happens? Okay, but what happens when you inevitably fall off because nobody knows? What about one of these songs? All your niggas are interchangeable. Because you want me to tell you, you want me to tell you who, really who had a tattoo, a tattoo on their face? face nigga. Racks on racks on racks. The nigga who made that, he had a tattoo on his oh, face. Roscoe Dash. That ain't even him. See, that's a whole another nigga that just ain't around no more. That's a nigga from here. See, that's what I'm saying. He's just naming niggas that ain't around no more. Oh, Roscoe Dash and Travis Porter in them. Yeah, them niggas. Like, no. Uh, is that him? I don't know who did Rax on Rax on Rax on. A nigga named know. YC oh, that yeah. we ain't never heard about oh, again. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah, I know well. Yeah. 
Okay. He had a face tattoo. Yeah. I don't know this man. He I'm felt bad. Sorry I mean, to that man. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know that man. His face tattoo didn't work. <laughs> Maybe I never seen his life. Fuck wrong with you. You remember Houston? Houston. <laughs> Did he cut his eye out? Exactly. He had yeah, a face that, tattoo. Yeah, that nigga crazy. Houston. Exactly. You don't even know who some of these niggas is that got face tattoos. Talking about it work now. <laughs> He you said, gonna let somebody write on your damn face like so you can make a song and then you have to work at the oil refinery, said, dumbass. the fuck is Houston? That's a place. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I showed a thing like, what? The restaurant? The nigga who owned the restaurant? Houston Rockets? Like, this nigga name is Houston. <laughs> it's like, Marcus Houston? That, I was showing a thing in that nigga, too. Stupid ass. Uh, <laughs> talking about face tattoos work. Don't you get mad. Don't tell nobody else that. Uh, hey, all right. You gonna see it in a couple of years. See what? I mean, you I see, see them now. of it. It it's, don't mean it's that it's at a work. No, bro, it's at a height now, and it's dumb because them niggas be just regular niggas. Though. Bro, let me tell you something. No, face tattoos been around. It's just oh, that yeah. y'all done switch way out. But niggas no, been getting crosses in the middle of their forehead. No, you crazy. Black people wasn't doing like that in the beginning. Niggas in New Orleans been getting crosses in the middle of their foreheads for years. Okay, out there, but out here it wasn't happening. Now it is. You act like it was a law that niggas can do it out here. Some <laughs> niggas like he was doing it, nigga. I know, but not like, not, not like now. Yeah, no, now it's, it's, it's more thing. prevalent, but it's yeah. still stupid. It still don't come with no more benefits. It ain't nothing, no, yeah. nothing else in life is allowing you. You still got to put makeup on that shit. <laughs> Everybody that got that shit, when they go to their day job, guess what? They got a face full of makeup. Niggas, too. Damn. All them niggas that y'all see on the gram who be counting money and w- with them little t shirts on and be sagging real hard with their ass out <laughs> yeah. and them little small jeans and be having tattoos, they wear makeup. I saw I saw a fucking meme about that. It's like uh, niggas get six hundred dollars in twenties and make that stupid ass I fan that, that don't know how to act. Yeah, like, yeah I seen that. That shit was or weird. just lay all the money in their lap and then just be dropping. Th- yeah, oh yeah. I'm that cool nigga worked in a warehouse, regular dude, and yeah. did some overtime this week and got to put makeup him. on to go to work. I know this guy. That's Fuck is you talking about? You see them niggas at UPS all the time. Fuck is you talking about? <laughs> Ain't that many, you know. Niggas are terrible. Ain't that many black people there. Talking about the face tattoo work. <laughs> work what? <laughs> I was saying, if you look right fuck now, it. it's working for them. It's not. But yeah, what? Like, you see niggas who ma- Who the fuck is this? I don't Because if they got a face tattoo, they stupid. <laughs> Hello, who is this? Who is do this? you have a face tattoo? Oh, they're hey. gone. You got hey, a face brother, tattoo? Man. Hell and fucking no, I ain't got no face tattoo. Come on now, EJ. That's who is this? Who is this? You know who I am. <laughs> what? Is this what? Nah, man. Nah, that's your brother Sean, G. Oh, shit. I couldn't even catch your voice. Sean, what the fuck is going on? Sean got a face tattoo. Yes, you do. Wow, Sean, you fucking up. Sean, the most gangster chef it is. Sean, I love you, bro. What's the deal? What's the deal, yo, man? Oh, shit. Hey, tell your cousin, man. He's stupid. Ain't no (laughs) face tattoo in the world can work. You can tell him him yourself. It's it's not working. Sean is a fully successful chef and father and married man. It's been far too long since I've been a success in his life. I need Sean to pull up, bro. I'm not saying it's not. Not for everything, but for rap, it works for rap. It don't. It don't work for rap. It's Look something it, that it gives don't you work the. For rap. It it gives in rap you have the ability it, to do it, but it don't guarantee you nothing or add nothing to you. Name, okay, you name the top five good rappers like J Cole and all them. They don't got it. They they cool. Mm-hmm. Now the rest of the rappers that's not doing good, they do whatever. Okay, <laughs> wait, okay, <laughs> which, which, but that, which generation but that, are you trying to touch? But that means you which just said they're not doing good. I'm talking about the ones that's now getting twenty one <laughs> and becoming like. Now getting 21. He's talking now to Lil Pumps. No- He's talking yeah. to all of them. Yeah. What you want It ain't going to work. I guarantee you. I guarantee you within the next gonna, five years, they're going to be a gonna, nobody. It's not going to last. It's not going to last. They're not going to last for Then long. it don't work. But it, it don't it, work. No, it, they got on, right? It, Lil Pump got $10 million. It worked, right? He finessed the game for 10. Bro, see this? Y'all don't understand yeah, what the breakdown of $10 million is. You need to think about investing. If he invests, that's what I'm saying. If he invests his money right, he good. But if he don't. That's a big ass if. See, yeah. see, when niggas think that $10 million, he don't understand taxes no, and attorney fees. Yeah, you got to pay, 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 pay the cost. Yeah. See, Piper had like 5 million. Like Snoop Dogg But see, what you still don't understand is a $10 million record deal, you still got to recoup that money. So you might have to pay the record label some of that back after you're trying to get out the contract. After you, If you get $10 million for three albums, at the end of those three albums, if you haven't recouped $10 million, you owe the record label all that money back. $10 million eventually got to be made from somewhere. You don't just get $10 million. They just giving you an advance on money that they hoping that you yeah, make. you borrowing money. Yeah, my nigga. Yeah, so Lil Pump ain't put up $10 million worth of shit, bro. I just want to let you know that. <laughs> but he, if he's doing his show... If Lil Pump would have sold his ass, he couldn't make $10 million <laughs> right now. Nah. If Lil Pump was letting niggas I'm, get Lil right, Pump, so, he couldn't so get So then t- you just, so, you just yeah. answer your own question, bro. Uh, tat, I, I, a face I'm, shot does not work. I'm, I'm just saying it gets you on to where you need to be. Now, what you do after that is your problem. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. It'll get you cross credit. Let's go get your ass beat. My nigga, I'm on the radio right now. What's the deal? <laughs> oh, it's gonna get died. you false credit. Well, okay, what about what about Nipsey then? 
That's not false credit. Nipsey, Nipsey is different. Like he paid, he Nipsey paid was away. a gangster that decided to away. rap, my nigga. The game. The when the last time? Bro, bro, bro. The game, bro, the game lost his mind. <laughs> he done had three. Di- he done had three different face tats. And hey, the butterfly and the little. What else he had? In the same spot. Yeah, he different. He is a little different. He don't count. He, he don't had count. a teardrop. Then he had a butterfly. And then yeah. he put L A. And then he put a star around the L A. <laughs> but that's not. Yeah. But like, I, I'm even like so. But like, what got game and nip there was like them niggas could rap. They were good mm-hmm. artists, and they happened to get tattoos. Uh-huh. For face. whatever reason, but what, but what I'm saying, saying is, like, sounds like you get a tattoo, couple... and that's what gets you to the. No, and that's no, not... you get a tattoo. You know, Instagram do a bunch of dumb shit, and then you most people blow up like that nowadays. I, am I lying? Is that not true? Yeah, they, not then you're gonna be in jail. What? Attention. So this goes back to the conversation <laughs> that we <laughs> six nine. <laughs> like six nine. Next, you got rainbow hair and uh, yeah, ten years yeah. in jail and a thumb in your butt. It. But this goes back to the conversation we had last week, though. What do you consider blowing up? Like we said last week, this is the exact thing I said about your generation. Your dumb ass think that the shit that comes with nah, all of that you just said is blowing up. No, nah, you going no, no, no. If you got a little hit song that's doing good on the radio and you doing everything wild on the internet, you blew, you blew up. I ain't saying you gonna last long, but you got some. You know what I mean? I'm 30 years old. You know what blowing up to me is having Drake? a whole bunch of money, like Drake, <laughs> like a Drake, like being able to take care of shit. <laughs> Yo, what you on speaker, nigga? Yeah, that's a, that's a, one of us be able to have a long time in traffic. Yeah, 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 you, yeah, you can get, you can get, you can get the, uh, you can get the quick money, but where you gonna be at after your first album? Is it gonna flop or is it gonna sprout? Yeah, met the man ain't got no face tattoo. He alright. Yeah. Hey, fuck, fuck out this music. Hello, Kuja ain't got no face tattoo. <laughs> yeah, they right legends, now. nigga. Hello, Kuja been, been in the game since the eighties, so. Come on, man. I mean, like the important question now is, I'm trying to get, some, I'm trying to get some food. All right, like when fuck this music shit. Right, when can I come to, get a? When can I come get a plate, my food. guy? Yeah, I'm trying to come get a plate, my guy. Man, are you trying to come get a plate? Absolutely. Yeah, you should know I ain't cooking like I ain't cooking like four months, dog. What? Right. I didn't know. I got my either. class A now. Oh. I yes. drive trucks. You should put some food on them trucks. You cook too good. You fit a whole goddamn truck full of food. Take that shit cross country. I'm not having this. Well, shoot. Uh, when y'all recording, man, again. this is a conversation we gonna have off the air, man. What the fuck, Sean? Sure. I appreciate you fuck calling, you man. People, man. About I'm to hang up serious, on you now. Bro. We had this conversation right, man, off the I like air. Y'all, man. y'all be good. Appreciate the too, call, bro. bro. Hey, y'all niggas right. gotta start having regular conversations and shit. Hey, you know, uh, last week after I left y'all, I went to my cousin's house. Right, I had some mac and cheese. Right. Nah. You know what I'm saying, right? What? I mean, <laughs> oh, oh, she was fired. <laughs> yeah, because I don't want, I don't want to say, it. I don't want to say. Sat it. here and turned into Caesar. Just yeah, like <laughs> boop, doop. It just blew my head Skibbity. up. Hey, I only had four scoops. I'm in the car, can't feel my feet. That's very subtle. Yep. You definitely haven't. Shit. Nobody <laughs> knows what's going on now. Hey, I couldn't even walk. I'm like, drive the car. I drove. <laughs> I said, I can't do this, bro. I can't feel my feet. I can't do this. I can't feel my feet. I'm fucking flying and shit. Nah, you do that. Yeah. Let me know if y'all want that mac and cheese, though. I got y'all. <laughs> this <laughs> nigga's stupid. <laughs> I'm serious. I can't feel me. I'm like, man, I can't feel my feet. Go ahead, drive. Nah, I'm good. I'm tired. Them noodles, man. Them yeah, goddamn man. noodles. Is that provolone in that? It's provolone. <laughs> This oh, nigga shit. is stupid. He said, I cannot feel my feet. Fuck, girl. He did the whole, he did a whole sign shit. Yeah, yeah, I didn't want to go in and say it all out. Bro wanted me to steal third. You could have just waited till after the show was over. Nah, and, and he want to plug anyway. He want to get plugged in. He want to get famous. <laughs> he want. He ain't going to do it here. He ain't going to do it here. How about yeah. that? That's why I didn't say it. 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 Like, just fame is... That's what Fame I'm is overrated. Oh my god! Oh, they, Starring me. But they don't. But they don't. They don't see that. Shit! Don't you help them, dead nigga? Yeah. Don't, don't you help them yeah, not see start, it? Not mac and cheese fire though. That mac and cheese fire though. This nigga's a retard. You gotta start. <laughs> that mac and you gotta start investing, man. You know shit. You my, need to get a billboard. <laughs> where my knees at? Am I in a wheelchair? <laughs> where my knees at? Yeah, this uh. <laughs> Nigga said, yeah, I'm paralyzed from the waist up now. Okay. <laughs> Can't move my arms. That's crazy, man. Four I'm going to go ahead. And... Nigga said, oh. four scoops. That was it. I'm like, damn. Nigga. I'm paralyzed from the waist this up. This nigga is retarded. To be young. Four you you turn just waste on the young, man. Four scoops turn you into Bernie, nigga. Like, turn you <laughs> Swinging in this we motherfucker. We get at Bernie. This nigga's dead. <laughs> swinging in this motherfucker now. Yeah. Oh, shit. What the fuck else happened this week? Oh, my phone died. I think I was screenshotting shit. To I don't know what about. happened this Something week. Something else um, talked about this week. I wanted to... Uh, who else did I don't know why. Oh, I know why I have this. It has nothing to do with anything. I just want this out in the universe. 
that I would appreciate since we just got off hip hop. Just for if um I know they usually listen, they, they usually talk uh, about it. Here you go. If uh if if Meg, Mulatto, and Rennie Rucci just would like to come together and put a song together for me, that's all I want. They got one. They all three of them? Ain't that on the uh I don't know. I know Meg and Rennie, I don't know if Mulatto's on. I would just like all three of them to put a song out. That has nothing to do with shit, but I thought about that shit the other day. I don't know what else happened this week besides like Rennie and Meg got a song though. Um I didn't watch the Harriet movie, so I don't have much to talk about with that. Like, I know people have been talking about that, good, bad, and indifferent, but I didn't watch it, so I don't have much. How do you feel about UK actors? Because I remember um, I, I seen that. Like the- I saw that. Kind of let me finish the question. That nigga said, fuck said, them. UK, how you feel about that? That nigga no, said, no, like, fuck them, you can't. All right, so you, like, uh, top boy the hard. The actress. Oh, shit. <laughs> top boy, nah, top boy hard, bro. Like, <laughs> top boy hard as fuck. This nigga's nah, crazy if you don't like top boy. I don't like the accent. Word. Like oh, man, I listen to UK rap all day. This oh, nigga. T- what? Yeah, nigga. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't Eventually, rock with you're going to be at the house in here. UK actors. I feel like. I feel like that's like. Everybody is a UK actor now. You watch uh, Snowfall? Of course, of course, but yeah. they gotta change their voice. I'm oh, you just don't UK, like their accent. UK, like, oh, just like you don't like accents. You don't like the, you don't like like the UK theirs. accent. Oh, I love UK accents, but yeah. Um, yeah, I don't have a problem with that. The, the Harriet the, Tubman yeah. actress, she, um, the lead who played Harriet, said that the script was full of like ghetto Southern language. <laughs> and so okay. I guess that's what I was asking is. How do y'all feel about UK actors or actresses playing historical black American figures? I was kind of go t- for it. Go for it. Yeah, if you can, if you're doing a good job, why not? Yeah, like I, I feel like with with her, like the issue might have been, you know, if she said those comments, that's irritating, or you know, it's not. I'm not a fan of that. But in general, I think they're very good actors, and if I'm portraying like a. a making a movie i want the best person to do the best job so if that happens to be a uk actor actor then i don't think i would that would stop me from making I think, a film i think sometimes that's the case then i think sometimes that there's certain certain roles evoke certain things out of people because they're mm-hmm. doesn't mean you're a better actor or something but i think it's just a little it means something, something to you. Close yeah to yeah connection with it yeah, like if I had a chance to play, I don't know, a certain role or something. I, I'm not even an actor, but somebody really came to me and was like, hey, man, you got a podcast, and I know you like this person. I'm doing a movie about this person. I would want to be a part of it. Even if I wasn't that person, I would be like, I do want to be some significant role or somewhere in this because I just. Mm-hmm. So I uh, I don't know. Sometimes it's like get the best suited person and then sometimes it's like get the most passionate person for it i think i think some things are passion projects you need a person who's passionate you can't just be skilled and have no passion for it and just of think course. you're gonna flip well, yeah. the acting i don't skip, want to uh, switch that that makes sense but i, I don't know so I, I feel like that about historical black figures in america is like you want passion and, and less and lack of skill not say no skill but like you know i don't know if it would be like a fucking i don't know i think the passion will drive you to go and be even better about it and allow you to go I can see if that. you great and you just top surface a role because you don't give a fuck about it to me that's like hard work always beats talent when talent don't work hard i think that goes okay. back to that saying like and so for me when i when i heard, heard the harriet, harriet tubman thing i was kind of like eh, i don't like that i mean granted like we see it with like snowfall because we know franklin saint is from the uk mm-hmm. we see it with all american he's from the uk um, the football player, the mm-hmm. son, he's from the UK. Um, of course, we've seen Idris do everything. Oh, they're doing a um, they're doing a Bass Reeves film, and that dude's from the UK. There you I go. I didn't even know that, like until like I had to go do, look at some interviews. But yeah, yeah. So I just don't think it's. I just think like I always wonder what that is. Like that's like a nigga who. <laughs> <laughs> It's like you grew up in a country that don't have basketball. Did a nigga pick you to play Kobe Bryant in a movie? I mean, they're going to teach you how to play it, though, at least, right? They're going to teach you how to But dribble. you don't really give a fuck about it, so you're not learning it to be good at it or really be like how Kobe used to be on TV. You're just learning it to be able to do the movie. That's Opposed it. to if you get a nigga from L.A. to play Kobe in a movie, he, gonna he really going to be out there like, <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, nigga, yeah. nah, I got to get my dribbles up, nigga. <laughs> get my crossovers, cuz. But he's not going to do the acting side good, though. So, I, yeah, I think it will push minded. a nigga to do the acting better because you know you yeah. know Kobe. That's like if you 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 have some identity of the 
the southern blackness like you have some identity of old black southern people and you know what to do with the accents and how to certain mannerisms and certain things that you would ad lib in a script you don't know that if you ever lived in the uk you can come over here for a couple months and live with an old black family and study them but it's something that you've seen your grandmama and certain people do that's just old black shit that old black people from america and old black people from the south do and yeah. sometimes that's like if i went to the uk right now and they was just like yo i need you to play a london gangster a lot of my shit is just gonna be crip shit from Compton, because <laughs> I don't I know, think, <laughs> I don't know nothing but that. Like, I think some of it goes both ways though, because like when I look at like um like Marvel films, a lot of those actors have no identity with the source material, but that like gives them the ability to like act from like a blank slate as opposed to bringing your pre -con like if I was mm. like if like I said if I was an actor, somebody goes, hey T, we need you to play Luke yeah. Cage. I'd be like, there's. There's a chance where I could do it well, but the chance I might fuck it up because I play Luke Cage, I, I see him in my mind as opposed to somebody who doesn't know the character, so you can just appreciate him for, we give you this many comics, we want you to play the character from this writer's perspective so you can blank slate it, as opposed to me watching the film and somebody who reads and I go, Luke would never do that? Nah, I'd fuck the movie up. Got you. <clears throat> yeah, that's true too. That's a valid point. I don't know. I think it's a gift and a curse, and I think it just depends on what you what you want or what you need. Sometimes you want a motherfucker to have an identity or some shit, and then sometimes you just want a motherfucker not to know. If you're a great actor, nobody, everybody's gonna appreciate it. Like uh, Joaquin Phoenix. But I think Joaquin great is somebody actor. who is see, a I great actor. To but me, he takes I haven't seen. Good. I, yeah, I think Joaquin is somebody who gets a passion for like. To me, I don't think nobody will ever be better than Heath Ledger as a Joker. <sighs> I don't know about that one. For real, you have nah, to. Nah, 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 it, it, nah. It depends how you um for his Joker then yeah I like I, I always try to put them in different space because to put to try to compare them that nigga went crazy in real life yeah like yeah. like you understand him yeah 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 no no, but no like, like you understand that come on man <laughs> come on like Christian Bale played American Psycho he didn't go crazy kind of but do you nigga because Christian Bale does a lot I don't know I didn't do a he's lot a of method research, actor yeah but like, Christian yeah. Bale goes through a lot nah, of shit for yeah. his roles so oh yeah he probably lost to a me bit. my nigga do you understand how like serious you gotta take your job that you willing to do it out in public and die about it that's like if a nigga played in the nfl and he was just running down freeways and shit juking cars trying to score a touchdown at his house like into his house and scoring a touchdown like, you'd be like yo this nigga's willing to die to always play football like that's really that nigga was willing to die to always be the joker like nigga that's a real commitment he's the best joker ever i Cool. I like. I don't him. give a fuck what you, I don't give a fuck what you say. If a nigga but, go to the NFL you, and I see him like running that. down the freeway, he the greatest <laughs> running back ever, nigga. You the greatest football player ever. If you willing to like, how did he learn how to play football? He dodged cars on a four hundred five. You the greatest football player ever. Or just will be the greatest. Yeah. Just yeah, off yeah, rip, like, my nigga. He, like Heath might <laughs> niggas just dodge buses for life. That's Heath funny. might. I want to say Heath was was the first, if not the only person, to like get an Oscar, even if it was posthumous, but like yeah, off yeah, of a was. comic book movie. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. He brought shit like even like. Yeah, just like if you take a character who's been around since like I don't know the fucking forties, and mm. your performance can like change the way people view the character. People took yeah. the Joker serious, serious as fuck. fuck after him. Yeah. yeah, Jack Jack made niggas. He, he I don't know right. what Jack did for the Joker. To be it honest was with you. it was cool. He, played, it was, he but, did like the comic books. He did just like the comic yeah, books. Jack like yeah. Jack Nicholson's performance was good, but yeah. it wasn't like like it wasn't. It just he wasn't Heath Ledger as a Joker, bro, yeah. was a uh, like a uh, fucking. He was twisted. Like, a, like it, it was, was like a sick. Storm. Yeah, was, and then the dude from Suicide Squad too. He he went a little method acting too. He was sending oh, um, Jared Leto. Jared Leto. Yeah, I don't. You know, he was sending what, um, what? Will Smith dead cats. Yeah, and shit people on set. shit. People shit on Jared Leto's performance. Suicide like Squad. Oh, okay. <clears throat> when he was a Joker. Yeah, I think people fuck around. Like, I don't think it was the best. We got like two minutes. Oh, okay. I don't think it was the best one, but I just think that he, uh, he, he felt like a uh, Jack Sparrow. I ain't gonna lie, he was like Jack Sparrow. Who? On that movie, The Suicide Squad. Oh. He, he, like Jack, he was like Jack Sparrow. <laughs> was the like, way he's moving and acting. Captain. Yeah. <laughs> captain. You go watch it. You compare it. I, like, yeah, I, I don't I've never seen Pirates of the Caribbean. I don't blame him. I blame, I like, the more you, like, you know, you watch movies, you look behind the scenes shit. I blame maybe the film and, like, the writers in general. Because yeah. he talks about it. Like, he's like, motherfucker, I had, like, a billion more scenes and they cut it in reshoots and shit. Mm. So he gets a lot of flack for it. So his like the performance didn't rock my socks, but I don't blame him. I blame how the movie was cut and made. Yeah, originally this that Suicide Squad movie was supposed to be the introduction to introduce him yeah. in this movie as yeah. this Joker. And that's but when he made the big tiff about um they cut all my scenes from Suicide Squad, they were like, um, we're gonna get a new Joker. <laughs> yep. They said he good though. He got a new movie coming out. Oh shit. 
No, yeah, he yeah, he's a good ass. I mean, he's actor. a good actor. Motherfuckers yeah. in the band, but that's. I just think he didn't sit his ass down. <laughs> Yeah, that's it, motherfuckers. So, uh, thank y'all for listening. Thank all you motherfuckers for calling in. We got mad calls. Oh today. yeah, man, appreciate everybody. Yeah. Uh, ladies night, Ray, my Sean. nigga Ray, Sean, everybody who called in, man, appreciate that. Y'all call in next week. Young nigga Verge uh, back in his three nine hundred zero four seven eight. Yeah, uh, Verge gonna be here more often, man. Yeah, man. So, so y'all tune in. Yeah. Shout out to Ray. Had to give him some of this. Uh, hey, some of this little Detroit shit. Three one three. I'm such a Sada fan. <laughs> What it do? That's it, man. Big ass motherfucker titties. Hey. Another episode in the books. And this is how rappers be in the booth. Y'all be holding the headphones like this. All right. Right. Yo. Oh, Jack. <laughs> hey. That's what time it is. Go on, open up that track. We got all kind of bricks. <laughs> Nigga, got all kind of shit. If Cuddle pull up on me with it, we gon' slide in. Say them perkins got me wide.